Visas are fraud. Copium. Visas are fraud. Konami finally gave us Dante 2. Ramadan Kareem BTW. Hi. Good heckin' morning, Dolists. Welcome, hi, hello, and greetings for another day, another fantastic old uh, streamer -oo. Brand new week. Oh my god, how many weeks have we gone by so far? Another episode of um, Samuolo. Save us, Samuolo. Samuel, save us, please, Samuolo. Uh, hopefully we'll uh, get something out of this uh, this boy today because we need some today, saving. Mr. Streamer man. Thank you so much uh, for the subs and the resubs. 22 months from Mike Lodge. Appreciate it. 20 months from Medabdi. Konami finally gave us Dante too. Ramadan Kareem, by the way. Ramadan Kareem, Ramadan uh, Maqbul, inshallah. Thank you so much. Uh, appreciate it. For anyone fasting and stuff today, hope you have an amazing, blessed month and uh, productive and spiritually uplifting and recharge your battery mentally for this uh, whole new year that we have to take on of existence uh, hope you're all having a great uh, a great time uh thank you so much sells up appreciate the 66 month prime holy let's go thank you so much sells up eight mcd thank you so much for the 42 months as well looking sharp today i see the lines Jesus that's that's the, that's the thing i just today i just see the lines uh, hi, uh, Jerry, Lenny, Lenny Jari, sorry, Lenny T. Jari. Thank you so much for the 27 month prime. Appreciate you. Uh, all right. Good morning. Hello, everyone. Hello. Does brushing your teeth break your fast? Uh, no. Just don't swallow forehead. Um, anyway, uh, I hope you all have a great day and are looking forward to the rest of your week here. There's so much planned this week, so uh, if you're wondering, uh, today's Masochist Monday, we're back to filming. Um, I was ahead by an episode last week, which was helpful. Um, depending on how good it is this week, because I noticed like this week's video is only like 13 minutes long, which is weird because normally they're supposed to be like 45 minutes or something. Uh, it's just like sometimes it's hard to get good games, you know, like uh, especially end of season in gold. Uh, there was just like so many just meta decks and smurfs and stuff like it was just impossible to get like stand a chance with the masochist deck so uh hopefully we'll get a good uh, amount of games this week otherwise if not it's fine we can obviously um uh, potentially do another uh another session on wednesday uh yeah i do still be planning to do another uh, uh those uh collab with uh, team samurai at some point hopefully wednesday if he replies to me on discord uh hopefully doing another guest the rank as well uh, might centralize it a little bit more and pick people out on the Discord server uh, for Guess the Rank. Um, we'll see, though. Uh, but yeah, that was really fun. That was really exciting. I'm going to have like a little intro and logo and stuff planned out and put together hopefully soon. Uh, that'll be uploaded on the YouTube. Well, actually, I can tell you exactly when it will go on the YouTube. Uh, that video will be on my YouTube uh, next Tuesday. Oh, that's a while away. Tomorrow, finally, the DC Cup video. I haven't seen a draft yet. Uh, let's all shout at Dyer and tell her to wake up. Uh, but tomorrow's video is the DC Cup video. Today's, today's Masochist, we stream it, and we release the video on Monday. Today's Masochist. Uh, tomorrow's Tuesday, uh, tomorrow's uh, DC Cup. Wednesday's the Tier Limit vlog. Thursday's a ban list discussion, which we need to sit down and talk about a ban list at some point and actually come up with some hits. Uh, Friday's the Nuzlocke video. Saturday's LCS. Sunday's Table 500. Next Monday is a new week. We'll talk about then at some point. But next, next Tuesday is uh, Guess the Rank. Um, so yeah, a lot of content. I know, right? Content machine out here. I've been trying really hard to make the, uh, try, trying to make this, uh, you know, just trying to do my best to create and provide the best content possible. So I hope you're excited and looking forward to it as much as I am. Uh, Anthony, destroyer of worlds. Hi, Farfa. Hi, hi, hi. Thank you. Appreciate your 20 months. So speaking of highs and hellos, uh, good morning, Chad. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, as, uh, promised and as always, where's the LCS ban list? Wait, what? Do you guys not have an LCS ban list yet? That's like this Sunday. Okay, I'm going to shout out my uh, mods and hopefully Samuel and Skrelp can uh, put together the ban list ASAP because uh, like that probably should have been done like last week. Uh, <laughs> it's fine. It's, it, it is what it is. I can't complain. They're, uh, it's volunteer stuff. Uh, but yeah, uh, hopefully there'll be, um, there'll be a ban list like tonight, uh, for, for the LCS. That seems kind of important, but yes. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Nasser, uh, Ramdan Karim, Shukran, uh, Bipsomania. Hi, Pepe. Hi. 
Father Eero, hi, good morning. Tough Nut, good morning. Terry, good morning. Chronosaur, good morning. Apoloza, good morning. Diamond Heart, good morning. Sakalov, good morning. V95, good morning. Wannabe, Daisy Breaker, Meyerhind, Fried Chicken, Pain Rua, TJ, Discoroboto, Semeto, uh, Dr. Stupid, uh, B8 Mel, have you seen the Oscars? Yeah, you, you specifically, you specifically, I gotta call you out. You specific. You think I didn't see that video you made on Reddit? I'm going to talk about that today. I'm going to go over that. You think I didn't see that call out post that you made about me on Reddit? Jesus I saw it. So I saw, don't think I didn't see it. I Hi. saw it. Okay. No, no, this isn't one guy. This is 900 guys or something. There was like an absurd amount of like upvotes. Uh, for Yugi tubers don't know uh, brain cells, etc., etc. You know, like oh my god, dude, I am calling you out for this. Uh, we'll check it out soon, though. Uh, Faisal, appreciate the seven months. Thank you, thank you. Uh, good morning and welcome, and thank you for the resub. Uh, so yeah, um, schedule today is uh, let's see, let's uh, let's look at some funny memes first. Let's take a look at the uh, we'll do we'll do the Sarfa the the Sarfa we'll do the Farfa subreddit first. Uh, there's some like. Uh, silly little viral uh, Yugi animation that's gone uh, gone loose. I want to check out meme review. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Uh, and then Fiend Smiths, a brand new archetype, actually, a whole new archetype. That's really cool. Um, hopefully, it'll be uh, playable and not broken, and uh, we'll uh, we'll check it out. So yeah, we'll see. Uh, you take two million dollars, but you won't be able to take the circumference of your tires for two days. You take two million dollars, but you won't be able to take the circumference of your tires for two days. This is a trick question. Is this one of those? Hey. Would you take a dump for 45 more billion dollars? Is that one of those like weird questions you're asking me? Like, I don't really sit and actively think about the circumference of my tires. <laughs> is, that a, is, that, is that a thing? Do people do that? I don't know. Anyway, um, is bottom table no longer a thing? Uh, it's not not a thing. It's just like the problem with bottom table is um, I don't have time. Unless I want to like bully my mods and force them into filtering. Uh, it's really just a time issue for bottom table. Um, I was thinking about doing bottom table myself in the sense that I would literally pick an archetype, build it, try make it good, and then play it and do a review on it, kind of like archetype archive that Rata does, but not actually archetype archive because it's actually like played and tested, not rather, you know, just looking at cards. Um, so th the test subject for that is technically Dragoonity. We have a Dragoonity stream for that, um, you know, from uh, a, a month ago or something. So 10 minute testing. Yeah, but, like, 10-minute testing is, like, <laughs> that's, like, MVT gets, like, a moderator to, like, play some games and then commentate. So that's that's not very involved, right? That's not actual testing. I mean, I guess it's supposed to be fast. It's 10-minute testing. So, you know, it'd be, like, an actual, like, full stream dedicated to, like, playing it and then actually doing, like, a relevant um, relevant uh, review of it. Dragoonity isn't dog enough for bottom table. It's one of those things where it's, um... It's one of those things where it's, uh... What's the word? Um, if it's just, the thing is, if it's if it's like not common, then it's like considered worth like bottom tabling, right? Like, because a lot of archetypes have niche communities and have like a, a, a dedicated player base to them that you won't find in the mainstream, right? Um, you're not gonna find like uh, like Dragoonity is actually a good deck. Like, it's not terrible. It has like major consistency problems. I think is the main overall takeaway from Dragoonity. But it, like, it's a good enough deck in the sense that it's like playable, has a strategy, can win games. Um, provided things go fairly consistently for it. But yeah, that's like, that's the problem with uh, with uh, uh, Dragoonity. Is it's never going to have people take it seriously. So the people that do take Dragoonity seriously are not going to be the top tier best players, right? Because why would they, right? That's just, it's just, it, it, it isn't good enough to be a meta deck. Um, but it's dedicated of a fan base enough that people will want to play test it, perfect it, et cetera, et cetera. Anyway, th the point I'm getting at is like, that would make for good... Um, you know, uh, deck reviews essentially, which is what I want to try and maybe consider do with the uh, with the Dragoonity so deck. Uh, I have scheduled it into this month at some point, so in like uh, like uh, ten days or something. Technically, it's out, so I I do have time to like review the vod and like write a script for it and stuff like that. But we'll see. Anyway, uh, Twigs, good morning. Hi, thank you for the forty eight months. Thank you, thank you. Hi, hello, appreciate it. Is Testina banned for the next LCS? Uh, it's like a standard thing now going forward that every new pack is banned for the LCS. Yeah, it's not like. That's, uh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure, yeah, like, uh, I know it's a bit weird, because, like, it's probably at the point of, like, being bad enough for LCS, but no, the LCS is at such a low power level right now, um, that any kind of, like, new pack can master do is going to be pretty broken, but who knows, anyway, I tried to play, I played against the winner last LCS, and he OTK'd me with goats, so, like, 
You know what? Maybe, uh, maybe Tistina is bad enough. Who knows? What about rollback? Uh, everything new. Everything. It's just a standard thing. Like, uh, we don't want to... It's too confusing as well because it becomes very... Uh, what's the word? It becomes very, you know... God, what's the best way to describe it? Um... It 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 is it's it's it becomes a slippery slope, right? It becomes too uh gray, and having a consistent structure, I think, is good enough. Because then it's like, oh, here's a new pack. Okay, what's actually banned from the new pack? Then you have to sit and like think about like every single card, theorize it in your brain, which one is viable, which one isn't viable, which one should be allowed in LCS week twenty seven, which one shouldn't. It's just like you know what? Let's just make like a blanket rule to make it simple for everyone. Um, every single new pack going forward is banned in the LCS because the power level, we can just assume it's too high for the current format. Uh, and then, hey, listen, when the next LCS season begins, which, by the way, I don't even know when we're going to do the next LCS season. It feels like there's still a lot of gas in the tank just now. Um, it feels like there's still a lot of gas in the tank. So we'll see. Because I do want to start the next LCS season. And by the way, spoilers, 100%. I haven't decided, like, the exact, like, structure week to week. But 100% week one, there's no ban list. That's, that's, I think that that'll be, like, a funny thing to start with. Is like, okay, cool. Week one LCS season two, unlimited. No ban list. Nothing is hit. Uh, th that'll make for some very funny content. So I'm excited for that. Uh, you know, that's, that's, that's definitely what, what I want to do there. Spending one grand to craft unlimited tier. Uh, I would recommend you make a new account because you get a lot of gems on a new account and then that's probably enough to build like an unlim deck without spending money. All right, although to be fair, there's, um, from what I understand, there's some really dedicated LCS players in the Discord who have a Master Duel account for no reason other than to play the LCS. Like their main account is their LCS account. Like they just, tier limit, full power tier limit, Tri Brigade when it was meta, Eldritch when it was meta, Virtual World, um, you know, Snake Eye, but they, they don't have any of those. They've never had any of those things. Everything is dismantled for, um, for you know, LCS cards, right? Like, so we'll see. Uh, Samuel doesn't ban every card from selection bag, just individual cards. Uh, okay, well, listen, ban list should be up tonight. I'm going to talk to the moderators. We're going to make it like a blanket rule from now on to just ban everything. Uh, probably seems like the most logical thing to do. But yeah, anyway. Uh, all right. Let's uh, wait for the gang to gather in. We've only been live for like 12 minutes. Uh, so yeah, let's. Uh, I'm going to look at some memes for like seven minutes. Let's look at some memes. And then we'll uh, check out the new deck or check out Reddit. We'll see. Yeah, lo lots of things to do that we'll jump into some uh, masochist gameplay. Uh, exactly on the hour I think works out. Okay, Elmo. Hey, look, it's Jordan Peterson. <laughs> That's cruel. You knew that was gonna. That's actually evil. Anything in your bag, ma'am? No. Any illegal contraband? No, Let me I'm see. I'm Let I'm <laughs> Does anyone play golf? Does anyone play? It seems so boring. Golf seems like a sport designed for like. People to do like shady stock trades and stuff like that. Old man sport. You'd be surprised how many people like. How? Huh? Does anyone still use payphones, by the way? Bro, its mouth is a literal toilet. That's insane. Why? Why? What was that video, by the way? What was that? What did we just? What? Why? Like, why? What was? What was the joke? Like, what's the joke? <laughs> like, sometimes this channel takes things like too far. Oh, I thought pandas were really heavy. I don't know what language that is. That definitely sounds like East European, Russian, maybe Balkan. I don't know. This is Brazil. I'm lying. That was definitely like Vietnamese or something. Huh? It was British. <laughs> Thank you, Quatsley. Plus one. Ah!
No! Don't eat the cat. Opa. Opa. What is this? What what are they No but like I wanna no I wanna know what's going on. Like what is that? doing anything. Oh, well done. Good job. <laughs> There's no way. Is that a super soaker with holy water inside it? How is that? How can you take that seriously? No offense, yeah. like not trying to judge any yeah, practices, but like how? Damn, bro. On the wing. Yeah, so it focuses on the wing. No. On the screen. Oh man, now I'm craving some fried chicken. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is this another pelican? Oh. Can't just juggle the cake like this. Ah! Yo, what are you doing in the club though? Imagine just having a pet alpaca. I feel really like riled up right now. Nothing happened though. <laughs> you knew what was gonna happen, but it was still funny. What's the joke here? Funny cause bald? What what was the joke there? Can we pl like can I can we get some sympathy for our bald brothers here? Hello? Like can I uh can I feel I feel really upset by this. I feel offended. Like I feel personally attacked like what's the deal? Like, what was the joke? There was no joke there. It was just like, here's a bald guy. Don't want that to happen. Oh! That was close. I do not want a copyright strike. <laughs> Man, what are some of these videos, dude? <laughs> well, this is weird. <laughs> Sprite? What? Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. Five second roll. Yeah, go. This is I need to plug something in the wall. I got you. I got you. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I got you. Why is there so you. many plugs? I got. I got you. Can I talk to this electrician? I got. I got you. Do you, Do you need to what plug? Do you need to plug something? Why? In? I got you. That has to be like a Hold safety on. hazard. <laughs> do you need to plug something in? Um, <laughs> may I help you? Okay. Like, I think I figured it out. That house used to be a weed farm. I actually think I figured it. that I sussed it out. That actually what it is. That house used to be a weed farm. There's no other logical reason. We got a problem? Oh. Y por... Bitcoin farmer. <laughs> El punto de partida. El punto de partida. Is he swearing? 
punto de partida no es puta partida. I don't know Spanish, but is he just cussing? Me parecía complejo. What did he just say? How would you? Least racist. What do you mean? Like that's a that very reasonable question to ask. Punto. All Spanish equals cut. Yeah, okay, dude. That's what I said. Okay, dude. All right. Anyway, good night. Good night. New compilation every Monday. Beautiful. All right. Awesome. All right. Let's uh, move on up here. Is this real? Glasgow's annual pothole uh, fishing contest took place on Bass Street today as torrential rain poured. Um... I don't know what it is, but like British TV, uh, British TV, British uh, roads are like notoriously awful, like really bad. Um, but Jesus yeah, this is cross. obviously AI generated. Hi, they don't even have like the right proportion of sizes. Like why? Like he is so tiny. Like this guy, like he's like, if you really think of it proportionally, he is like probably like half the size of the car. Um, anyway, we were looking at, like, uh, we were looking at, like, uh, living, living room designs and stuff, um, on Pinterest, and then we got absolutely mega jabated by one of the pictures, it ended up being AI, uh, and I was really upset, because I was like, damn, I really wanted that sofa for the new house, you know, but it is what it is. Um, I'm trying to see, like, how weird it looks with AI. Like, what do you notice here that's, like, really bad? I think, like, probably just, like, the license plates, right? Um, like, the, the letters and words just look... It, it, it's just, like, what is that? It, it's, like, a C, and then, like, a T, and then, like, a really weird font, like, number two. Like, do you know what I mean? Um, it's RF. Thank you for the 32 months. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, I, the, the people are also, like, really small, like, proportionally. <laughs> uh, I guess, like, the fish as well. Like, what is that? <laughs> Wait, like, what is this? What is that supposed to be? It's funny when you like really focus and zoom in on AI pictures. It's like, what is like, what is going on here? That's a COVID fish. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, posts on the subreddit here. Be by eight mil, dude. You are on the Reddit, my friend. Uh, in the most recent Heart of the Cast, Farfa wanted to see what people thought about Valor when it was released. So here's the comments from Pojo nine days before Valor was released. That's insane. So I wanted to do like a dedicated, I, I was listening, I listened back to the podcast, you know, because like, you know, I like to think about like what I could have done better and like inspirations for like future episodes, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, you know, I, I like to review my content. Weird, I know. Um, and I was looking and I was listening and I was thinking like, it'd be really cool to like get like really old cards, like Pot of Desires and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> Pot of Desires is now an old card, by the way. Um, and like looking at the initial reactions to them, because I can, because if you remember when Paul and Zyrus came out, there was like oh, so many people who were like, "Oh, this card's garbage. This card's terrible. Uh, this card is unplayable." You know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, like, oh, banish ten cards from the top of your deck. What if, what if you need those cards, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right? Like the unironically, like you know, the n minus a uh, nine people, right? Um, that was like a thing. So let's see what people were saying about Valor. For lack of a recent thread, and the fact that it's finally available, I think this needs a new thread. Card is good, from what I can tell. It completely shuts down Infernity Loops. Cat does this. Does, cat does this work? Will Cat still tribute itself? Oh, people didn't know how the rulings work. Monarchs, frogs, all kind of stuff. Unless I'm mistaken, the effect stuns completely for a turn, unlike Skill Drain, which, while permanent, only works while the cards are on the field. Wow, they just didn't know how like rulings worked. So this person thought that Valor was permanent as long as the card stayed on the field. Uh, unlike Skill Drain, which, while permanent, it only works while the cards are on the field. Not to mention you can recycle this. Oh, maybe I'm misunderstanding what they're saying here. Um, never mind. Uh, not to mention you can recycle with Beckoning, in addition to Honors, for some cool fun... Uh, for some cool fun with stun combo. <laughs> Pray tell the cool fun stun combos, please, sir. Correct me if I'm wrong, I think this should be in every side deck. And, and, and it's dropping in price. I'm guessing it'll settle between $10 and $15. 10 and $15 15 years ago? Like, what is this? Like 20 bucks or something maybe today? 22? Um, I can't read this. I like the fact you can use her on your opponent's first turn before you get to play. She can stop gadgets or machine searches and all sorts of things. <laughs> I'm using one in my magician deck. No, she can't chain to rescue cat. Targeting it, but she will negate its effect if it was successfully tar targeted before. Man, I can't wait to stop m m gadgets, huh? 
Uh, I like, uh, the reason I like this card is usually when I play Skill Drain, unless it's against the deck that spams monsters, I really only need to negate one or two effects. And I'd rather have the Drain off of the field so I can play my Dark Arm than Lordfire. Valor has no cost and can be played from the hand, using it at the right time can leave your opponent exposed, i.e. hitting a Swap Frog on its summon. Uh, Bryanak, if they discard multiple cards, Archfiend. I see potential for so much use, uh, for so much abuse on a light deck with Honest and Beckoning. These are really not that bad, honestly. Where's, like, the really bad takes? I'll be main decking two. <laughs> Why two, not three, huh? Just feels good. Stops most decks, if not all, and gives freed food. Freed the Brave Warrior. Holy crap, were people playing him? That's insane. 2007 reviews, man. Sorry, 2010. Not only that, but it's a great way to get that thought after light, sought after light monster in the grave, so Chaos Sorcerer can be brought out faster, uh, which negating them from playing big effects on you. Okay, is it me or do, um, is it me or is the 2010 duelists seem to have a better understanding of cards than like modern Yu-Gi-Oh players? Like I swear these have all been like actually decent anal analyses. Um, somehow Yu-Gi-Oh players got worse. Yeah, I think she looks like a boy. Nice. Effect Veiler sucks. That's my opinion right there. Its restrictions are too impos imposing. That's its big problem. What do you mean? Restrictions? Oh, this person got banned. <laughs> well, I mean... I don't think he got banned for saying Veiler sucks, but I'm pretty sure they got banned for, you know, being a bad person, which is probably the type of person you expect for uh, thinking that Veiler sucks. What does that even mean? The restrictions? What, what restrictions is he talking about? In this, in this, it, it, the restriction of Valor is that it negates your opponent's card. Oh, I guess it's not battle phase, right? I get it's opponent's turn only and it's main phase only, right? Sure, but like that's kind of the most important thing. That's why it's. I, I mean, that's not why it's good, but like that's that's all you need, really. Like, what more do you need? Can't Valor in the battle phase? Like, is that what we're pissed off about? Fine, I guess. The fact that Valor can only activate in the main phase is a big downer. Nobody at my sneak liked Valor and scoffed when I valued the ulti at 25. Oh my god, dude. Take me back, man. Take me back. Oh my god, take me. If I could go pick up a Valor for $25 ultimate rare. Oh my god, dude. If I could go and get ulti Valors for 25 bucks, jeez. Yeah, I just saw the restrictions on her. She's okay, but there's a lot of things she can't deal with. Not being able to stop cat. You can stop cat. Lone fire. Yes, you can. Or a lot. <laughs> you just don't know rulings. Um, or a lot of effects that activates in the grave is cat and lone fire don't activate in the grave. Um, I like her because she cast her, but I don't feel a lot of decks are going to be using her. Clueless. She cast her. Oh wait, wait. This was priority actually. Wait, they're, they're they actually do be spitting. Wasn't priority removed well before that? Well, no, actually. Priority ended 2012, I think, maybe, right? Okay, wow. You know what? Resman's actually kind of tr kind of truing right now. Uh, although, I don't know how, like, we ended up spell caster. We calling it caster? Okay, that's fine. Prior was Dino Rabbit 2011. Okay, you guys are just... So you're yapping. You're y guys, you're yapping. 2011, 2012, 2013. 2014! Can we get the guy... Mr. Yap Yap Yapathon himself. Actual just Yap 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 Yap. VIP. Farfa VIP. Yap Yap Yap. 2014 is when they removed Pryo, by the way. Pryo was 2025. <laughs> 2023. I was thinking about the going second rule. Don't at me. Uh, okay, well. She looks kind of hot. Dem thigh highs and dat zetai ryoiki. Whatever you do, don't Google this. All right. I need to go into Pojo and get a bunch of old cards myself and see how people react to them. It seems kind of funny. Dude, imagine the Pojo review for Vanity's Emptiness. This card is so bad. <laughs> they are so unaware. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Weird fact of the day number eight. Did you know that Brazilian Portuguese is the only language that Black Dragon's chick not, uh, name got changed twice in 2003 because his name could be translated to Black Dick of Red Eyes in 2016 to not be a Red Eyes like all the other languages? Uh, Black Dragon's chick... Any uh, Portuguese speakers here want to explain? Remember the Desire Zodiac post? I have the screenshot somewhere. Arashel sent them to me ages ago for a video that I never got around to, but I do still have them. Um, oh, one of my favorite... Do you know what one of my favorite quotes from the Desire's Zodiac post was? It was someone... I, 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 it was like something like, Pot of Desire's is terrible. Deletes all your resources. Blah, 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 blah. 
Just wait until some idiot like Glasgow YG says that this is a good card. <laughs> it was just, oh. I get to look back on that and I just feel so prideful. You know? Um, oh, I think I replied to him as well. There it is. Just wait for someone like Nadir to come in claiming this is playable. <laughs> Six years ago. And then I actually posted back and I said, 20 days ago? I don't know, this would have been like last year or something. I added to him and I said, yo, what's up? <laughs> did he ever reply? He did reply to me. Oh, man, I wanted to get his opinion, Matt. Dude, I wish, I wish he replied back to me. That would have been really funny. Why only Brazilian Portuguese? Why not Portuguese Portuguese? Isn't realistically the only difference between Portuguese and Brazilian? Like a couple of like... Um, you know, just like colloquial, like slang and stuff like that. I don't think there's any like actual structural differences, is there? Um, filote de drago negro. Filote? It's completely different languages. Wait, actually? Okay, but there's no way you can't tell me someone from Portugal can just go to Brazil and like live realistically, right? Um, why are you all hung? Well, because I said. The, the Portuguese and Spanish word for black. Yeah, guys, do not Google it. Worst mistake of my life, you know? <laughs> my face when European languages exist. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, Zetai Ryoki, absolute territory, refers to the area of the bare skin and the gap between over knee socks and a skirt or shorts. <sighs> you guys have got that shit down to a science, apparently. Anyway. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! complexity issue is not about the mechanics. Oh, yeah? What is it, then? Whoa! Okay, alright. There's a TLDR at the end if you're lazy. Bro, it's like four sentences. Relax. Uh, yap, yap, yap. <laughs> Summoning mechanics are easy to learn. Spell trap mechanics are easy to learn. Yu-Gi-Oh! mechanics are all easy to learn if you spend 10 to 15 minutes to understand. What makes Yu-Gi-Oh! hard to learn is the interaction between the cards. Hundreds of archetypes with vastly different playstyles combined to make learning Yu-Gi-Oh! extremely unintuitive. I feel like this is just like one of those like... 10 upvotes, really? This is just one of those, like, moving the goalposts type of things. Like, it's like, you're honing in on the semantics, and you're getting so fixated and bogged down by, like, the specificities and the sp the semantics of, like, you go as hard because of this, well, actually, because of... And it's like, it's all of it together compounding that is the problem, right? It's all of it together. Yeah, like, knowing how to... Uh, you The differences between all the trap cards is probably quite simple. It might take, like, you know, a bit to, like, understand counter trap, normal trap, continuous trap... Uh, et cetera, et cetera, right? And then you put all of that together and it's easy, right? All of that together, compounded in one, is a lot of information to process. And yeah, of course, like, you know, another hard part is like the extra layer on top of that is, um, you know, all the different hundreds of archetypes that interact with each other in different ways and all the different combos that exist within those archetypes. Learning a new deck in Yu-Gi-Oh! is like, like, that, that shit is like a job. Like, if you want to, like, sit down and learn and practice Snake Eye, for example, you're going to have to dedicate multiple hours, you know? It's, like, probably, like, I'd say, like, a, on average, a Yu-Gi-Oh deck is, like, five to ten hours minimum just to get, like, a basic understanding of it. And then, like, past that point, it's, like, mastery. Um, you know, and then up to how many hours of gameplay before you actually become, like, not even five to ten if you think about it. Because, like, realistically, ten hours of gameplay, what is that? Maybe, like, 13 matches? Can you really call yourself, like, a master of a deck after, like, 13 to 15 matches? Like, probably not, right? Um, so, yeah, like, tons of hours invested just to learn a deck, like, inside and out. Anyway, explain to anyone, even veterans, why A leads to B because of C and factors like D, E, F, G, H, and they will want to have their brain explode. Is this, like, a PSCT thing you're referring to here? Or what do you mean, when A leads to B because of C? I can't tell if you're talking about combos or if you're talking about PSCT. If you don't understand how cards work, cards in a deck interact with each other to eventually form a combo chain of 20 effects, no amount of guide can be sufficient because there are thousands, if not millions, of situations. Um, well, yeah, this kind of goes back to, like, what we're discussing with, like, for example, Raran's approach to, like, Salmon Great. Um, you need, like, a guide to learn, like, a Yu-Gi-Oh deck, right? Like, you need to go on, on a website and learn, okay, what do I actually do with, like, a, 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 an Ashuna and an Adhara? Right? Because learning to do that just by yourself, natty, is, like, not going to happen. Like, it's just kind of impossible. If you don't understand how cards... I just read that. This is not an issue in other card games because there are, like... They all have, like, one to two effects and rarely, if ever, form an effect chain for more than four to five effects. Well, Yu-Gi-Oh! has two to three card effects combined into a chain of 20, which makes Yu-Gi-Oh! Okay, the chain is the wrong word here. I think you mean steps, but sure. Uh, which makes Yu-Gi-Oh! exponentially harder to learn. Yu-Gi-Oh! has too much effects that all interact with each other to form a combo. Uh combo chain that is the real complexity of the game and not synchro summon hard because math 
Uh, yeah, again, this is just like nitpicking and semantics, right? Like, yes, Yu-Gi-Oh! is hard because of everything you mentioned, but it's also hard because of Synchro Summon hard, right? Synchro Summoning isn't difficult when you sit down and just learn it, but when you have to learn Synchro Summoning, and then learn Xe Summoning, and then learn Link Summoning, and then learn Fusion Summoning, uh, and then all of the different intricacies that are included within that, like a Link 1 is also a Link 4 if it's Apollosa, right? As a, okay, other way around. A Link 4 is also a Link 1. The materials of 2 plus on a decode talker means that you can you need to use 2 plus monsters minimum, but it still needs to be Link 3, etc, uh, etc, 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 right? So many different instances of this, of why this is all like confusing and compounding complexity. All of that together, it's like very difficult for a new player. So yeah, uh, I think you are, sorry, Adventurous War, you are yapping and you are complaining about the uh, semantics of something that where two things can be true at once, right? I think sometimes people get misunderstood when they look at topics like this. They don't, a lot of people in general don't understand that it's possible for multiple things to be correct. Um, it's not one or the other. People love black Jesus and white. People so love things being gross. yes and no and binary because it's simple and it's easy. Yu-Gi-Oh! isn't hard because of X, it's hard because of Y. Well, actually, what if X and Y are both contributing factors, right? Basically. Oh, hi. Thank you for the 31 months. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you think I don't know how to play Pendulum? I play DDD. Oh, yeah? You YouTubers have no idea how to judge a battle phase deck. Oh, don't worry. I'm going to read the uh, what's it called comment on that. Don't worry. Bye, 8. I've got you. Today I learned you can still download Cross Duel and Duel Generation. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Generation. Uh, what is Duel Generation? Wait, what is Duel Generation? Um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Generation. Did I miss me? Movie? No, we're about to start it soon. The heck is this? Eight years ago? It looks like a really old legacy of the Duelist. A banger music, by the way. Oh, is it a mobile game? Why is it taking so long to load here? Is my internet? Buffering? Okay, I don't know why it's stuck on buffering. It's just not playing, but sure. Damn. Playing this online seems based. First duel stage 1-1 one, one versus Taya Garner. How complex did the decks get? Holy crap. This person made 100 and... Whoops. This person made 195 videos. What is the final boss? Akiza on Naturia? <laughs> you still have vanilla, which is crazy to me, by the way. Oh, wow, there we go. Yeah, look at that. We got combos. We got Crebons. We got a Synchro Monster. We got Crane Crane. Look at that. Yeah, damn. Okay. All right. Um, POV, you are waiting for next week to see streamer play Elden Ring. <laughs> I'll get there soon. Bro Roasted Jesse. Holy. Four for four for Top Cuts this month. Unchained been serving me well. Can't believe we almost didn't play it, Brazil. But job's not done. Let's try win the next six. I just want to know if you've gotten laid. That was, uh... That, that was rude. What the hell? <laughs> that, <laughs> that was rude. Um, that one unemployed friend on a Tuesday night. I've always wondered how hard it would be to recreate the painting Starry Night using nothing but Among Us. Yeah, this might be the stupidest thing I've ever done. I began the torture by placing each character one by one by one. Pretty soon Starry Night's gonna be Sussy Night. Along the way, I <laughs> shortcuts that 300,000 upvotes, sanity, by the way. Like grouping them together and then copying and pasting them. But obviously, Starry Night is so detailed that I was forced to keep placing these things individually. Okay, I know this whole thing seems like a waste of time. Can you just, like, AI generate this or something, artist, probably? And if I can make art out of Among Us PA, oh, sorry, I shouldn't say so art and AI wrong. in the same sentence. My bad. Less than three. Juan well, Yeti, thank you for six months. I placed the final Among Us character. I actually did this. Oh, my God. I posted it on Twitter, and Among Us replied calling it incredible. Hands down, best thing I've ever made. I've all Wondered how Honestly, that was that was pretty impressive. Don't have the patience for that, but uh, that's impressive. Plot twist: 152 upvotes. What is going on? Hello, Farfra from Burning Abyss. Hello, Baby Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> Plot twist. Ha 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 ha. One joke, man. One joke. You know what it is? It's like you guys know that there's uh there's uh there's only so many ways you can make a streamer laugh, right? You know? And you've managed to like find the one that does get me. You've managed to find the one that does get me. And so 
You realize the other ones don't work. This one does work most of the time, so let's focus on it. And, uh, well, I guess you got me, you know. Farfa is famous for hosting tournaments with dumb rules. Why not host a tournament with the chat's ban list? Um, you know, it's really funny. A lot of people were, like, really asking, um, after the video I posted, after we did the tier list, or the, uh, the, 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 what's it called? Um, and, uh, everyone was like, oh, yeah, Farfa, you need to do a, a tournament with this ban list. Uh, but I think, like, redoing, like, democracy ban list could be pretty fun again, to be fair. Um, everyone signs up and uh, gets one ban or something like that. Seems pretty funny. We could try that again at some point. But yeah, these are like, uh, these are like the fun things that we do. Um, just like this week is like really filled because of the Challenger Cup. So we'll try to find some space next month, 100%. Uh, when the review series needed him most, he vanished. Where did you find this picture? <laughs> Waiting for Samuel to come rescue. Where did you find this picture? picture what the hell bro's like on his what where did you find this did i post this on twitter somewhere or something <laughs> this is like my wife's alt or something dude what the hell this is uh ooh. anyway uh okay far for viewers be like it's time to pop the baby god damn it master meta keeps downvoting my amazing oc meme but what about the other baby? <laughs> Thinking about popping the other one. Ah, uh, one joke, guys. One joke. One joke. One joke. I love my big chickens. That girl is so cute. I wonder what she's listening to. Pop the baby. More AI versus AI duels. I think we already put uh, put the reaction thing to that. All right, cool. All right, awesome. That is the Reddit review. All right, we are donezo. Um, let's, uh, what are we doing next here? Okay, so we did our memes. We did our uh, far from Reddit view. Should we go over the yugi Chuber one? Or should we watch this little animation thing first? All right, so context. The reason that I'm going to react to this and not watch it natty is because uh, I saw Simo repost this on Twitter. And I thought to myself, man, Simo. If Simo found it funny, then, you know, <laughs> that's a really good one. <laughs> My prediction is that this is going to be Yugi plays modern TCG, a Yu-Gi-Oh parody. All right, we all know what's going to happen here. We all know just how many infinite number of uh, boomer-like takes and jokes we're going to get in this one. Welcome to the ultimate Yu-Gi-Oh exhibition match. The current champion of Yu-Gi-Oh, the trading card game, is here. And to face him, we have... Is that supposed to be Josh? The reigning champion- wait, is that just supposed to be Josh? Yu-Gi-Oh, the trading card game is here! Oh no, TCG. It's technically Polly, right? Because he said trading card game. That should be- that's Polly, apparently. To face him, we have the one and only, the legendary, Yummy Yugi! Patreon. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Yugi hasn't played the game in almost 20 years. Can he keep up with the current meta? Come on. This old man is so overrated, he wasn't even that good. Do you even know how to play modern TCG? He's right, Yugi. Modern Duel Monsters is pretty different. Do not worry, generic filler character. I just need the heart of the cards, and victory shall be mine. No, yeah, okay, seriously. True. Just take a look at these new rules. <laughs> Stupid I won't new read rules. That crap. This will be reading a joke. Battle First to reading remember. joke. First reading joke. Take a look at this. I summon the green gadget in attack position. Nice. With the effect of green gadget, I can add one red gadget from my deck to my hand. Not so fast, Yugi. I discard this stupid new card to negate oh, the effect fuck's sake, of man. green gadget. Uh, I thought it was going to be funny because he would use, like, actual Yugi cards. It's just, haha, stupid new card. Okay, I dude. didn't destroy it. Oh, what? Can he really do that? Yes, Mr. You could have just said Gamma. That's the effect of the stupid new card. It doesn't matter because I use Monster Reborn to bring my green gadget back. Think again, old man. I just got my other stupid new card. Oh, no, just your say green Ghost Bell, man. The graveyard. Huh? It also lets me draw 25 cards. Uh -huh. That's nonsense. Oh, no. This is looking bad for the King of Duels. Can he bring it back? I guess I'll set one card and end my turn. Jeez. 
<laughs> You're done, Yugi. I shall make the big dick Chad and the bigger dick Giga Chad. <laughs> XYZ summon. Oh, we're using actual terms. Dick go Giga Chad. Go Giga Chad. Nice. The go Giga Chad destroys you card in the field and destroys all cards in your hand, your deck, and uh. Uh, that guy's dead. <laughs> now the guy Giga Chad brings his friends to link some of the ultimate beasts in the game. The oh, it's a link monster. The five-headed Giga Chad of Galaxy Blue Eyes. And Dark Chaos, I guess. Sounds like a uh, DDD card. Oh, God. <sighs> what is he doing? <laughs> <sighs> the ultimate trend! Destroy him! Chaotic, homeritical, dark energy beast! Is it possible? Is the king of games actually going to lose? There must be something I can do! Uh, is this so the bad. end <laughs> for our king of games? Oh, got it! Huh? You oh, think you're above everyone else with your overpriced cardboard and anime figures. You think just because you're so talented and have this weird sexual magnetism all over you, you're invincible. Huh? But you forget one huh? thing. Oh, yes. I summon the ultimate rule in the book of Yu-Gi-Oh's stupid rules. I summon the hygiene policy. What? You... You can't do that! That's right, guards. My opponent smells like shit. <laughs> Screw why are they assaulting him? <laughs> but, like, why are they... <laughs> Alright, that joke was fine. Uh... I don't know, man. It just does really do feel like one of those, uh... Haha, Yugi Bads takes right like haha yugi bad screw the rules i have plot armor sums up yugioh quite nicely i expected yugi to defeat him with no bitches but the hygiene policy is great screw the rules i have plot armor audience but you won by using the rules trying to get back to yugioh with 10,000 cards is quite a lot your opponent smelling like shit really is one of the win conditions of all time don't screw the rules let the rules screw your opponent okay anyway um all right <sighs> that was uh that was that was definitely a take that was that was a video. That was a video of all time. All right. Uh, now I have a bone to pick, specifically with by eight L I L in the uh, in the chat here. I have a bone to pick. Yugi tubers have no idea how to judge a battle phase. That nine hundred upvotes, dude. Your fire dragons. Oh, geez. I hate that he uses me Is first. A battle phase centric archetype. Please no. Please no. Please no. Please no. Did we not make like battle centric archetypes, dude? Once per turn during the battle. Oh, come on! <laughs> is this just Synchro Warrock? The problem <laughs> is the battle phase is a bit shitty. Um, I mean, again, the problem is like it's still like fucking battle phase, isn't it? Right? Like, that, that's still the issue. It's, I don't know what is program this, that is. Is this that good? Wait, what? Is this that good? Is this that good? Surely not. Oh, second place. As, as great as like the power level seems. It's just battle phase centric, which is really the only thing that's deterring me from this. First place, you know, like first place, all these second really good place, first place, in the phase, and I just don't know how first reliable place, this play call is. Exclusively just an OTK base. Like you just oh my god, stop yapping now, deck, please. Like you know, anti magic arrows. Did you edit this, or do I really just yap like this? I'm pretty sure you've edited this, right? Okay, you're. I do not yap like this. I called it anti magic arrows. I called it. It's awful. They're terrible. <laughs> so, like, you know that this sucks, right? I, Wrong! I'm sorry, right? This is awful. <laughs> this is awful. So, like, a big guy in attack position Whoa, 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 what program is this? What program is this? They're not remotely good. <laughs> Dyer going, oh, yeah, cards have outs. But yeah, when the out is every card that every deck is playing, though, then those cards are not very good. All the cards in Rescue Ace... 32 talks. What is this deck doing against, I don't know, a contain? A contain? <laughs> like, I can't think of a scenario in with which this deck could ever beat Unchained. Like, I'm trying, but like, <laughs> I legitimately can't imagine a series of cards Unchained could draw 
that would lose to this. <laughs> okay, that's not fair. Unchained is a freaking maxi, like, lose OCG deck, right? Strategy. I don't think this is a meta, like, deck. <laughs> that's cool. I like it. <laughs> hey, even the world champion is dumb, dude. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Uh, let's read the comments. Most of the community thought it was going to be ass. I was hoping for an ignorant as fuck blind second deck when this was announced, and I'm happy that's what we got. This isn't a defense of the community. It's an indictment of how sheep-like the entire fandom is. Um, I wanted to say it wasn't just Yugi tubers, but I feel like uh, once their favorite content creator says something, everyone parrots. I was I don't know if people really do that. Maybe they do. I think it's very much uh, easier to do if it's Josh, right? Because he's the world champion. Um, people will literally just latch on and just, you know, copy-paste his opinions. That makes sense because it's the world champion. Um, but in regards to, like, you know, Cali Effect, reading a card, or me, or Joseph, or something, um, I, I don't know if, like, people are, like, really um, going to copy our opinions just because they say that, right? In fact, quite the opposite. My chat loves to argue with me. Love, like, they, they, they love nothing more than when I say something to be, like, minor spelling mistake, you know, so that... Uh, maybe it's different for each community, but my community loves to argue with me, and I'm usually right, and I'm usually right. Uh, this time, I guess not, you know, it is what it is, you know, it is what it is. But here, can I just say as well, like, I'm not sure, okay, listen, I, I'm gonna accept my L, I will take, I will take the letter L, and I will take, and I will hold it, and I'll be like, this is mine. This is my spirit message L. This is my, I was wrong about Tenpai, this is my spirit message L. But I'm not usually wrong. It's very rare. Now, the reason why... Now, okay, now here comes the justifications and excuses. Yep, 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 yep. It's a battle phase deck, okay? There has basically never in the history of this game been a deck that just is, like, battle phase focused that is, like, actually tier one and meta, all right? Remember, we are coming from the context of, exactly, Glad Beast, right? And how long ago was that? How long ago was that? See, I know, I, th this is what you guys do. You love to argue, right? You found an, you found an example. You found an example. Yes, Gladbys. 10 years ago, guys, 10 years ago, right? That's the point. Uh, in recent years, we've had what? War Rock is like where we have the um, 15 years ago. Yeah, exactly. War Rock, right? That's what we have as like the replacement for Glad Beast is War Rock, you know? Uh, Dragon Maid? Eh? Kind of. You could argue that Dragon Maids do well without the battle phases, unironically. Uh, but uh, yeah, anyway, so like, you can't really blame us for thinking that, hey, the deck that is, unlike Dragon Maid, this deck doesn't appear to have any plays outside the battle phase. It is literally battle phase kill you, which is very cool and based, by the way. Do like that. Can't wait to try it out. Um, and also another thing, I just want to, I just want to mention, like, these, vi these videos... This isn't like an in-depth tested analysis or something, right? This is this is a first impression. People sometimes forget that. They'll see these videos on YouTube and they'll think that and they'll think to themselves like, "Oh yeah. Uh well, X content creator said this deck is bad therefore." No, like this is a first impression, okay? You can be wrong on your first impression. You can overrate cards, you can underrate cards. You know, you might not think about like other interactions, etc. Et it's reading a card for the very first time ever and just giving your general like spitballing thoughts on it. That's that's what it comes to, right? That's all it is, right? So people seem to think that, like, this is, like, your ultimate take on the deck, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I think Tenpai was good after more research. But, yeah, initially, on reading, sure, I'm gonna think it wasn't good, right? You know? Uh, anyway. <laughs> ba based battle phase enjoyer. I don't know why you're calling out Yugi Troopers. Most of the majority of the people said this deck would suck. Uh, yeah, I mean, listen. I everyone I, I heard from th thought that this was bad as well. So just saying. Nobody thought this deck would be good when they first read it. Josh is literally a world champion, and he didn't expect it. I mean, yeah. See, like, listen. If he's allowed to be wrong, I can be wrong. That's what happens when the player base is conditioned for years to think the battle phase isn't important until you have exact game on board. This isn't like a... But, like, that's not our fault. The player base is conditioned for years to think the battle phase isn't important. Yeah, that's because that's how every deck for the last, like, 10 years has played. Of course. The main phase is too powerful, unironically. This is where you're summoning link monsters and setting up negates, etc., etc., you know? Battle phase hasn't really been that uh, that important. Case in point, Runic. <laughs> a deck that literally just doesn't have a battle phase most of the time, you know? And it just controls the field and wins because of it, right? Like, do you see? Like, there's a reason why people think the battle phase is not necessary. Of course we all set this back. That's how the game has worked forever. Exactly, you know? Um... Yugi Tubers, consensus of the sub and others is that the deck would flop Lamau. 
Uh, I don't get the joke here. Prepare for this deck to get rarity bumped the fuck out of once it makes its way to TCG. Please don't remind me, dude. Please don't remind me. Please don't remind me. I don't think anyone saw the success uh, coming as it did. We have to remember OCG, TCG are hella different. Maxi on its own transforms it. Um, no, listen, listen. <laughs> People need to understand that, hey, context, nuance, all of this stuff, that's not important, okay? We love when the fuck... I already did it for you. I took my L. I took my spirit message L. And I'm holding it. I need to buy a spirit message L. I think I had one somewhere on my desk. I need to buy one so I can take it whenever I, I, I will admit I'm wrong. Because I'm wrong sometimes. Not always. Very rarely. But I'm wrong sometimes. I will hold my spirit message L. I was wrong. My first impressions. My first ever reading. Uh, five minute response to Tenpai was wrong. I admit it was also wrong for Mystic Mind if you guys remember that. What was my quote on Mystic Mine? Yeah, this card is, like, gonna be some, like, gimmicky, like, stun, like, burn deck or something. Yeah, that was... Woo! Down. <laughs> woo! Man, Farfa had got the spirit message L on that one. Anyway. Uh, I appreciate Joshua's follow-up on stream after the recent Tenpai results. Uh, it's just a YouTube video, right? Yeah, exactly. You know, it, th these are first impressions. These are, these are not, like, the follow-ups. Um, you know what? Let's do a little experiment. Oh, God. This is... You, you guys ever want to, like, turbo, like, um, you know, uh, in your mental health? I'll do it for you, okay? This is, this is, this is my, uh, this is my mental health destruction, right? What you do is you go control F, and I type my name on Reddit. Oh, <clears throat> here we go. Farfa missed one of the new OCG cards searching Maxi. There is a low bar. Farfa missed one of the OCG new cards searching Maxi. There is a low bar. Searching Maxi. What is this? Like gigantic sprite? Everyone knew that combo. What is he? What is he yapping? Me in a worst take competition when I look on the other side and there is Farfa MPs. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Okay, that one's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, Farfa really fucking hates the battle phase. The guy is negate attack and burn all the way. Wait, the guy is negate attack and burn all the way. Is he talking about me? What does that mean? I know most people underestimate it, but Far Farfa is generally fucking stupid. He's fine as a creator entertainer, but he's an absolute waffle merchant, so I don't know why any free thinker would take his word as gospel Lamau. Uh, yeah, this is like kind of beyond the joke, right? This is just guys just being a bit mean, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of that's kind that's a bit mean. Not gonna lie. Um, people never have like an example, you know, like waffle merchant. Like, what is it I've said that you think is like in incorrect? I can think of like two or three things I've said wrong, like objectively incorrect over the last like however many years. Jesus. All right, rude. <clears throat> uh, Farfa is pretty much just a shit poster. I am, but that, that's not what's going on here. Farfa and especially MBT are the last people I'm going to watch for competitors of a deck. I'd soon watch Team Sam since he has actual results and wins. Wow, okay. Uh, no one is allowed to have an opinion unless you have uh, multiple YCS tops, huh? God Sam! <clears throat> As someone who doesn't know what the cards do, I legit don't understand this, blah, 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 when in the battle phase, I guess it's a blind second strategy. Farfa is definitely not to blame here on paper. It sounded like trash. Why are they downvoting him? Yeah, on paper, this did sound trash. What do you mean? Everyone thought that. Man, Reddit just hates me. I don't know what to tell you, dude. Like, I, think, I think Reddit just doesn't like me. It did sound trash on paper. The hell? Farfa has terrible opinions of the game. 61 upvotes? What the hell? Wow, turbo inting like mental health right now. Terrible opinion. What terrible opinions do I have? They never have like an, a, an, an answer. They never have an example. It's just I don't like you for whatever reason. This is so sad. I will never forgive him for that Warrock versus Goat video. The guy playing the Warrock deck sucked. Who plays Mystic Mine and Warrock? Uh, wasn't it like 2019 when... I don't know. It's Mystic Mine. Mystic Mine's a good card. It's a blind second deck. You activate Mystic Mine, activate a bunch of uh, destruction cards. It's good. What are you talking about? Um... Uh, to be a little fair to the video, is otherwise open uh, that the video was somewhat disingenuous and the GOAT deck did get lucky. The most recent LCS had the winner go up against Farfa playing the 2004 GOAT deck and Farfa got OTK. It's very funny. That's, that was very funny. <laughs> um, anyway, all right. Uh, I think that's enough mental health destruction here. Uh, so, yeah, we got called out. I'm holding my L. I was my first impressions, my first read through within the first 10 minutes of reading uh, Tenpai was incorrect. Yeah, true. That's my bad. My bad. Spirit message L. I'm holding it. I guess. Uh, it would be nice if people weren't rude, but, you know, it is what it is. All right, let's do a new thing. Let's talk about Fiendsmith, a brand new archetype. Maybe I'll get, maybe I'll get this one as a correct, uh, as a correct uh, guess here. Haven't read these cards before, right? You know, maybe this one will be an L as well. We'll see. Um, 
So, Konami's revealed the first new cards of the upcoming Infinite Forbidden Booster set, focusing around retrains of classic Dual Monster cards. What is this re retraining? Infinite Forbidden, is that a core set or is this a side set? Uh, level 6, Light Fiend. Oh boy, Light Fiends. Uh, <laughs> is that Light... F Wait, so how do you summon Sky Scourges? Is it Light Fiends or Dark Fiends and Fairies? And Light Fairies. I think it's Dark Fiends, Light Fairies. This is the Exodia set, okay. Uh, so no Sky sc Scourges for us, huh? Fabled. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, here we go. 1824. You can only use the first, second, and third effect once per turn each. Uh, you can discard this card and add a Fiendsmith spell or trap from your deck to your hand. That's very good. Target a Fiendsmith, equip. You control one monster on the field. Send them to the graveyard. Ooh. So it's an equip-based deck, huh? Uh, what is this? Like, Makanko 2? Interesting. I mean, I like that this thing just discards itself and then adds any Fiendsmith spell or trap card. Hopefully they have some graveyard effects as well coming up so they actually get some, uh, some, uh, what's it called here? Some synergies. If this is in your grave, shuffle one other Light Fiend from your graveyard deck into the grave, uh, into the extra deck. Special summon this card. Okay. So I assume all of the main deck guys probably have a bunch of discard effects, and then this one can recycle, put back, and then, uh, special summon itself. So, that seems not too bad, actually. Level 6s as well? I mean, God, what are we turboing out with level 6s? Bouncer? We're turboing out, um... Gauntlet Launcher? Gauntlet? Is that the word? Ga yeah, I think so. Um, okay. Huh? Huh? There's one guy? <laughs> Wait, that's his name! The Fiendsmith! <laughs> Wait, it's a deck with one guy! <laughs> that's really funny. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm sure that it works somehow. Uh, <laughs> this is great. Maybe it's... It, so is this like Eldritch? Right? With like, except instead of traps, it's like equips. Uh, Fiendsmith Lacrimosa. Level 6 Light Fiend Fusion. Two Light Fiends. You can only use first and third once per turn. If this card is Fusion Summon, target a Light Fiend in your grave or Banishment. Add or Special. That's pretty good, right? Two Light Fiends. I assume this and himself. <laughs> Monsters your opponent controls lose 600. This is sent to the grave. Shuffle one other Light Fiend from your grave into the deck or extra, and then inflict 1,200. Ah. Time-related burn damage. You gotta love to see it. You gotta love to see it. Okay. Uh, Fiendsmith uh, Desiree. It's the same guy, right? Yeah, it's just this, the, the one guy using different weapons and stuff, it looks like. It's like uh, Sky Striker, you know, but with uh, fusion equips, apparently. Requires the Fiendsmith and two Light Fiends. You can only use the first and second effect once per turn. Negate the effects of a number of face-up cards on the field until the end of this turn, up to the total link rating of the links equipped to this card as an equip card. What the hell? Negate the effects of a number of face-up cards on the field until the end of this turn, up to the total link rating. Okay, if this is sent to the grave, shuffle one of the Light Fiend and target a card on the field and send it to the grave. Okay, so I assume the gimmick of this deck is you're supposed to, like, try and, um, uh, link with the fusions after fusing them, right? I assume so. These spell and trap cards better be insane, by the way. Because this is all this deck does is search spells and traps. Fiendsmith Weak uh, Requiem. A Link 1. Oh boy. Let's see if this one is a mistake. Uh, one Light Fiend. You can only special summon a Fiendsmith Requiem once per turn. You can only use Sacred Fight once per turn. During the main phase, Quick Fight, Tribute this and special Fiendsmith from your hand or deck. Um, a Fiendsmith Monster. Yes. The grand total of one. <laughs> sure. Target a non-link non Light Fiend you control and equip this card from your field or grave to that target as an equip that gives it 600 attack. Uh, from your field... Okay, so you can equip from grave, which is really useful because then it lets you get maximum value out of um, this guy, which negates. Uh, Fiendsmith Sequentia. Link 2. Two monsters, including a Light Fiend. You can only use first night once per turn. During your main phase, fusion summon a Fiend Fusion from your extra by shuffling materials mentioned on it from your grave into the deck. That's pretty cool that you can fuse with the, uh, with the graveyard. That's obviously very important. Otherwise, I feel like this deck would just have zero card advantage. Target a non-link uh, non light fiend you control and equip this from your field of grave. Okay, and this also has the equip as well. Your opponent can target the equip with card effects. That's pretty cool. All right, that's uh, that's cool. Um, all right, so, I mean, these are fine. But searching spells and traps seems to be this deck's main thing. So these have to be very good. You can only first sec fight once per turn. Add a light fiend from your deck to your hand, then discard a card. Okay, you go activate this, discard this, add this, activate this, add a Light Fiend. I mean, I don't know what the, uh, I guess we'll have to see in the card database what the best Light Fiends in the game are. Fables? <laughs> like, is there, I, I don't think you're playing this by itself, right? This can't be a deck you play by itself. Um, banish this from your given, then fusion summon a, wow, that's really good. Uh, this is a Miracle Fusion, but the, but the spell itself is a Miracle Fusion. 
Fusion summon a fiend spirit from your extra, use monster from your hand or field as material. That's unfortunate, doesn't just use the graveyard, but hey, too much, you know. Uh, muskets, interesting, okay. Fiend's Smith Sanctus, quick play, can only use the first and second effect monster protection. No, face up monsters all face up monster control. Like light fiend, special fiend smith token. Cannot declare attacks for his turn except with fiends. Face up fiend spirit control is destroyed by an opponent's card with this in the graveyard. Set this card. Okay, so this just gives you like easier fodder to be able to fusion summon with, I guess. So, um, yep, just summon a token. And then I think the token can also just make this, by the way, which is okay. That's that's pretty crazy. So you just draw this, you can activate this, summon a token, make this, tribute this, summon the lightsmith. And then the fiendsmith's field effect is equip a card you control. You can like send the cards your opponent controls going second. Kind of neat. Okay. And then we got a trap here as well. Fiendsmith and Paradisum. Uh, Paradise mentioned, huh? Can only use the first and third, uh, fir first and second effect of the guest card's name each once per turn. Uh, target a level seven or higher light fiend you control. Send all cards on the field to the grave except that monster. What the heck and penis? The heck did you just say? It's a trap card that is Zeus. That's insane. They just have a Zeus. This deck just has Zeus. If your opponent's and it's searchable. If your opponent specials a monster while this is in your graveyard, banish this card and then send a Fiendsmith from your deck or extra to the graveyard. Extra? Does that trigger the grave effects of these? If the card sent to the graveyard shuffle? It does! Wow, that's incredible. Holy. Uh, okay then. Um, this archetype seems like it has a lot of potential. Uh, yeah, this is, this is pretty good. This is a good solid base of cards here. It's kind of neat what the deck is trying to do, kind of. Um... Make a, make a bunch of guys with, like, the one Fiendsmith into the spell, basically for free, and then link and then fuse and make a large dude. Fiendsmith is a one-card Beatrice. Well, that's probably not uh, bad, is it? Woo! Um, the main idea is to get to the guy, discard to add the token, and make a rank 6 without using your normal on the fifth summon. Yeah, rank 6, or set up a big fusion uh, boss monster, I suppose. This deck has a lot of potential. Spirit Message W, but I think this deck is uh, pretty decent. Well, I say deck, more like engine is probably the correct term. Um, I want to say this. Uh, this is, this seems like a good engine, at least. And I don't, th maybe I could be hyper fixated on this, but I feel like a searchable trap that Zeus is the field has to be kind of incredible. Uh, I don't know, dude. I just, just like, this has to be really good. There's no way this isn't bad. Anyway. Let's see what the comments say. Magical Musket Fiendsmith, gonna go hard. I don't know why, but this guy de design gives me large amounts of Vanquish Soul energy. Pretty generic art world. What the heck is this trap? It's a turn one Zeus for the archetype? This is crazy. <laughs> one card combo for quick effect, three hot red negates. Effect on a targeted body. If you have the trap too, you can nuke the board. If they special, you got another disruption. If only the TC released an archetype at the box like this. Fabled Lurry price hike incoming. Wow, we're actually seeing Fabled Synergy in here, other than the fact that it's a uh, light, sure. Jim Jim! Can search Maj Majesty Fiend, Eccentric, Santa Claus, and all the muskets. You know, searching, like, Santa Claus as a toolbox card is pretty, like, kind of crazy good, right? Especially when you consider the fact that it's, um, no restrictions, right? But tributing a monster... I guess they draw a card. Searching a kaiju is, like, very neat, right? A man in the artwork instead of... <laughs> Alright, anyway. Uh, yep, very cool. Awesome. I'm going to say I'm going to give my verdict right now. I'm are you ready for this? I think I think this deck is going to be good. I'm I, I don't know I don't know if it's going to be incredible. I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be played. I think this is good. This is the I think this is a good deck. Deck quote unquote we'll see. Um but I think this is solid. I think this is going to be played with some crazy stuff. Someone's going to find some uh, good combos and synergies and engines to play this together with. I think this is going to be good. We'll see. We'll see. It's better than Tistina, so, you know, that's not exactly a high bar. Uh, and hey, listen, there's no battle phase, you know, so that's, that's a good thing. There's no battle phase. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode. Another episode. Are you ready? Hello, welcome, everyone. Uh, hello and welcome, everyone. Uh, so, another episode of Meme Review. YouTube, welcome back to another episode of Meme Review. This week we've got, hopefully, the savior will return. We haven't seen him in, I think, two weeks now. We are waiting for Samuolo to save us. All right, let's begin and see what exactly 
we've got this week. We've got old versus new meme by user. 2004, 20 to 40 turns, 1 to 3 minutes per turn. 2024, 1 to 3 turns, 20 to 40 minutes per turn. No joke, 37 minute turn. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Bad, ha ha ha. That's the joke. That's the joke. Yu-Gi-Oh! Bad, ha ha ha. Uh, why don't we all agree to not overwhelm the new players? 6k unaffected boss monster? Why aren't you surrendering? Stop, you don't have a kaiju. Oh yeah, this is rookie. I forgot. I don't know, I kind of like this. I just like the tuning, like, just in into the dual. I, I don't know. This is, uh, I kind of like this. Not bad, not bad. I, I enjoyed this. This was, this was fine, this was fine. Well done, uh, Zero Slasher. Uh, go good old hero by Nero Shiro Shironeko. Playing Snake Eye. Playing hero. I, what's like the... You know, the whole like sit back, focus up thing, right? I get it, but like... Why is he suddenly a, f a, a, a girl? <laughs> well, like what changed? What... Is, is this... Is this... Uh, is this something about heroes? Is the joke about against heroes or or what's good versus bad posture? Yeah, I just need a fat dumpy ass, dude. That's what I need to play heroes correctly. All right. Anyway, um, the H in hero stands for HRT. Oh, okay, right. That's that makes sense. All right, you go, girl. Uh, uh oh, by Nevguy. When you blindly activate Max C, turn one of your opponent intentionally start special summoning as much as possible. XQC despair, huh? Wow. Listen, when XQC memes start making it through to the freaking Macedo subreddit, oh my god, really? All right, maybe he'll uh, maybe he'll buy me a McLaren. XQC, do you want a collab? The collab is you buy me a McLaren. Who here plays Snake Eyes because they are meta, and who plays them for the monster Energy Witch and her cat? Uh, I play decks because they're meta and powerful. You play decks because. Hot woman with big, giant, thick thighs. Uh, we are not the same. All right. Old school Yu-Gi-Oh! is so boring. There's no way you're enjoying this event. Quit having fun! I like this. I like this because it's so true. You know how many people were, like, mad at me for playing so much GOAT? You know how many comments I got in the old tubes here complaining about, oh, there's too much GOAT? I don't care. I had a great time. It was so fun. It was fun. I enjoyed it. It was great. Had a blast. Branded player. Got, got a lock in by BL25 Soldiers. That list 25, BL, BLS. Is that what we're trying to go for here? Anyway. Nice board. Wanna see my pets? That's a very uh, cute Garura. I like this. Uh, thanks, bro. Love ya. Me actually playing Gimmick Puppet. The branded player just gave me a free body. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Banger. <laughs> banger. We got a Banger. We got one. We got one. Uh, me when I actually... I think Gimmick Puppet is, like, actually... Uh, what is this one called? I think it's, like, actually insane to have on your field turn one as a Gimmick Puppet player, which is which is funny. Dude, honestly, I might go to Locals next week and play pure Gimmick Puppet just in the off chance I play against the, uh, the branded player at my Locals. Gimmick Puppet Nightmare. Is it actually good to have on the field? Like, does it actually help? It's actually shit. Wait, is, is, is it not even good? Well, hey, on the plus side, at least you're not locked for the turn. How is it? How can this be shit? It's a level 8, like, body. Like, surely that's just good. Uh, special summon a gimmick puppet from your hand or graveyard. If this card is special summon, you can't special summon a monster turn. I mean, yeah, it's just a level 8 body. I mean, it's fine. What are you guys yapping about? All right. Le Misplay. Uh, by Hollow Spectre. Who is this? Oh, it wasn't Samuel. Lowe. LeBron James reportedly used Sprite Starter at 1,000 life points. Can we get some USAs, please? Sports, 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 sports. Me when I'm LeBron James. Uh, Raran after normal summoning Moyi. I get it now. This would have been funnier if you said Ash Blossom because he actually did that. That would have that would have been great. It's truly euphoric. I enjoy the irony of Misk protecting dinos from an asteroid. <laughs> No, man, one joke, dude. <laughs> one joke. 
This is so good. This is so good. It's just a sleeping bunch of baby dinos. And he's got his little hammer. Oh, he looks so goofy. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's a great drawing and a great meme. 10 out of 10. Well done, Boneless. Holy crap. Whew. Something very important regarding Yu-Gi-Oh! animation. Vampire? I don't get it. Fine, right? What? What? What is? What's? What's? Hurry. Tomboy Fang. What does that mean? I have a tomboy Fang. Whatever that means. I don't get the joke. <clears throat> Low quality mirror force. Fuck it. We ball. Oh. Wait. The artwork of mirror force. Mirror forces create a ball. Ah. Oh. Oh, today I learned. That's kind of neat. Mirror Force is a ball. Ain't no way. Behold, the five pieces of... Why is it so small? Of exogeneric boss monsters. <clears throat> Can you really call access code a boss monster? Like, are you passing turn on, a, on an access code? Turn one, you know? Maybe in Rookie, I guess. Um... I mean, the joke is that boss monsters, what if Exodia, I, uh, I uh, okay. Just for clarity, by the way, because I know YouTube is going to like comment on this. I get it. Okay. Most of the jokes, here's the thing. This is the reality. I understand most of the jokes. They're just not funny. Okay. Make them funnier. Make them better. Okay. That's, that's the issue. It's not that I don't understand. It's that they're, they're bad. Okay. Oh boy. This template. I haven't seen this one before. Um, what the current release schedule feels like, Konami, I think I forgot something. If you forgot, then it wasn't important. Yeah, you're right. Eperly Noir, Emergency, Salmon Great, Raging Phoenix. We still don't have Unchained, by the way. Where is Unchained? We still don't have it. Why is Mastable playing with my heart like this? I just wanted to do dailies. Dueling in Bronze 3 with my meta deck because my lazy ass can't find time to play actively. Opponent is default user with blue eyes structure, but I demolish him without mercy. He is level 4, probably Poor Soul's first duel, and he added me as a friend. I'm telling you, if we had uh, chat in Masadu, it would just be the greatest content of all time. Because then I could send friend requests and ask them, Hey man, did you have a fun duel? As I summoned Snake Eye Ash and added Poplar and Special Summoned for Original Sin to make Link Karibo to send to Special Summoned. You know, that would be, be great content, honestly. I don't see the appeal, and it's not because I slow play. It's it not because it's slow. I play magic. Uh, master to account two. Hmm. Uh, that's a throwaway. Old school Yu-Gi-Oh is more fun. So that was a fucking lie. What? It's like <laughs> Goat was fine. Do people not enjoy? I was okay. There's like maybe one or two more floodgates, right? Than than there should have been. You know, I understand. There's a lot of like gravity binds and level limits. You just play some dust tornadoes. The hell are you people yapping about? Listen, put it this way. If the I'm going to be real with you. If the only thing that you have to complain about in your Yu-Gi-Oh duel is that you couldn't attack for three extra turns, you had a good game of Yu-Gi-Oh. In the grand scheme of things, you know, let me just pull you out of that time rift, bring you to the future into 2023, uh, 24. Let me just put you here. If the only thing that you have to complain about is that you couldn't attack for like two or three extra turns, <laughs> you had a good game of Yu-Gi-Oh, all right? Uh, trap tricks monsters if they weren't unaffected by trap holes. Enough digging. The hole is deep enough for the trap. Okay, but how do we get back up? I feel like this person wasn't making a joke. They were kind of wanting... They were, trying to, they were trying to go to a different place with this, right? I think there was a different angle they were trying to go with this one, right? I, I don't know. Uh, that's not the artwork. Exactly. Please, John Konami, give our daughter back by Mista Hates number four. Tear Lament Merly seeing the new secret pack. Let me in. Let me in. Cowards, give me back Merly. Cowards, give it. Give, why? Look what. They, think about what they took from us. The truth about goal format in the 2004 events. Wait, it's all stun? Always has been. Stun, by the way. Can't attack. <laughs> stun, by the way. Oh no, you can't attack. Huh? Let me show you 2024 stun. Let me show you let me show you stun today. Let me show you what a stun deck looks like now. Gravity bind can't attack equals stun, bruh. These people. Uh okay, well, bit of a slow week, honestly. Two absolute bangers, not gonna lie. The gimmick puppet one. And of course, one joke. It's me. Uh thank you. Pop the baby. 
Um, one joke, I know. Uh, was there Sammy Wolo? Is he gone? Can someone check his account and see if he's, like, been posting or if he's just, like, AFK? Like, where has he been? We need him back here. I hope you guys remember how unfun and repetitive the tier limit format was before you asked for Merly unban. The thing is, like, making tier limit viable isn't the same as making it tier zero. People need to understand that, right? People think, like, oh, we're gonna make the... We're gonna make the best deck tier limit again or something. That suddenly means, like, tier limit is, like, you know, oh, crazy uh, mirror matches everywhere. That's, that's why it got, like, a little bit, like boring is like you just watch the same duels over and over again right making tier viable is not bad making tier tier zero is not what anyone is asking for well mostly i can't believe i paused work for this at least the hero player booty was nice yeah i hope you're doing well samuolo the memes have never been the same since you left us keep please come back samuolo uh ps hey farfa you laughed at pop the baby meme didn't you i am disappointed <laughs> yep i did <laughs> not the worst happy ramadan ramadan karim habibi we've had worse what is wrong with Reddit? The funniest ones have less upvotes than the unfunny ones. Thank Boneless for the baby one. You're great. That was great. Didn't get the hero joke. Neither did I. Week three of not having Samuolo when the world needed him most, he vanished, dude. Please come back, man. Please. This week is better than uh, last. At least this week, there's no screenshot meme again. The Rara meme is mine. <laughs> Claiming credit in the comment section. Maybe that needs to be like a, b a bingo card or something. All right, let's do some mental health uh, destruction. Control F Farfa. Dino meme, that is actually good. No way, Farfa will surely laugh at this. I did, I did. All right, cool. All right, that wasn't that bad. All right, well, there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, good stuff. There was some good stuff in here. There wasn't some completely awful, terrible Woods tier memes. So you guys are overall, the average is increasing, I think is what's important here. The average is increasing. And we did get two bangers. So you know what? I would say that in the grand scheme of meme review, this week was a good success. All right, I'll take it. All right, uh, yep, 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 yippers. Fuck it, we mirror force ball. Uh, Samuolo, uh, post from 22 hours ago. Please don't tell me it's like a meme, is it? Is it always a meme? It is a meme. Okay, I'm not looking at it, I'm not spoiling it because it might get featured next week. Okay, so at least he's around. At least he's here and he's still present, okay? So he hasn't actually, actually like unironically, you know, collapsed or something. That's, uh, that's always a positive. <laughs> one joke one i'm sorry i'm sorry one joke man one joke dude one joke Oh god, it's so good. It's it was that was great. You can't say that wasn't good though. You can't say that was good. Uh here's a Samuolo from last week then. Oh boy. Not even the Golden Lord can resist a good roller coaster. It's fine. It's fine. No, I, I said it. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. It's okay. Not terrible. It's fine. Uh, all right. <sighs> what do I got here? Do not try... What? Why? Meow, why are you DMing me in... Uh, oh, I love when you guys... My favorite thing that you guys do is you wait until the stream starts when there's like hundreds of people. And then you start telling me to do things and look at things and click on things. I love it. Do not translate Magician's Rod Italian name from Spanish to English. Magician's Rod Italian name from Spanish to English. All right, hold up. Let cook. Magician's Rod. Okay. Where's the name here? Uh, Magician's Rod. Man, I was really brave googling that on stream, huh? Magician's Rod? Damn. Uh, okay. Verga del Mago. Okay. We use detect. <laughs> I mean, what did I expect, right? <laughs> like, like what, what did I expect, clearly? <laughs> sure. 
All right, that's my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card. Magician's Duck. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, don't scatter too hard. Don't scatter too hard, boys. Don't scatter too hard, but it's time for just a tiny, tiny little bit of the game. Just a little small piece of the game, because today the game is... Um, Masochist Monday, do do do. Masochist Monday. You need to see this. Oh no. Anything else you guys want me to click? <clears throat> Anything else here? Uh, like being alive. Yeah, it's great. Back to work. All right, you guys are trying too hard now. All right, you guys are trying. You guys are trying too hard now. You guys are trying too hard. All right. Sometimes you just gotta accept. Like you know, you're not gonna. It's not gonna hit every time. Okay. Sometimes it'll hit me like a train. Other times, y'all, uh, y'all trying too hard. You gotta be honest. Man. Do you know how many, um... Do you know how many, uh... What's the word? Um... Do you know how many people- uh, yeah, uh, sorry, brain. Do you know how many people have been accusing me of, um, cheating at locals? It's kind of insane. My every like like couple of weeks or so, I don't know if it's the same person, but I'll get like um, I'll get like uh one or two comments from someone saying like um oh you're uh you're you're uh what's it called dummy shuffling fake shuffling or something? Because like sometimes the top card of my deck doesn't shuffle because I guess I just didn't shuffle it for whatever reason. You know I guess that does look bad, but uh, people forget that um. There's editing, right? There's this crazy like concept that you know people on YouTube do, um, called uh, called uh, shuffling. Um, sorry, called uh, editing. And it and it uh, what you do when you shuffle is that you um, uh, when you edit is that you remove a lot a large portion of like some of the th scenes, right? Because who wants to watch a video of someone just shuffling all the time, you know? So that that does happen. Uh, I don't know, it's weird. Like, yeah, I, like, on camera, like, willingly took my own deck to, uh, locals and cheated by stacking my deck. You know, stacking my eBay Labyrinth deck. Like, oh boy, I hope I top deck fair welcome. Like, I don't know, dude. Anyway. <clears throat> uh, let's begin. We're back with another week, and this time we've got our uh, where well, our Mascus deck is here. It's locked and loaded and ready, and it's looking pretty decent. Uh, we made some changes, got rid of a couple of duds that weren't exactly working out. Uh, main deck is looking pretty strong. It would be nice to get some combos going, to tell you the truth. But hey, listen, that's what the Dart Destroyer Cosmo Witch is for. Other than that, uh, yeah, uh, lots of uh, lots of bangers here. We got lots of removal. Basically, every single thing in this deck appears to try and remove a card from the field. So that's always uh, that's always strong. Um, this is just uh, my modern goat deck, basically. So uh, let's go jump into some games and see uh, how we can do this week. All right, uh, let me get the uh, desktop up here. I have the. What was my last score on Masochist? Does anyone remember? No one's gonna like specifically remember that. So well, here I've got written down twenty one thirty seven. But that feels like that might not have been updated. 2137 is how much? 21 plus 37 is 58? No, I don't think I updated the... Uh, I don't think I updated my... What's it called? Manly. Oh, my video already came out. Yeah. Uh, 40 minutes Preview. ago. Nice. Last game I had here appears to be 2652. Like 2653? 2653, uh, which is 79. Okay, cool. All right, let's rock it. All right, let me uh, edit the score here. Wait, what did I say? I already forgot it. 2653. Wait, 2654? 2654, whatever. 2653, okay. All right. <clears throat> Season 27 has begun! What did we even finish on, actually? Uh, I don't remember, but we're down to Silver 5, so, you know, this rank was, uh... <laughs> Silver's always good. Silver's always exciting. Uh, let's see if we can, uh, 
squirm our way back up to uh, gold here. The aim this time is platinum, which might require a couple of extra sessions, so we'll see. But uh, yeah, here we go. Who is Omegzella? Omegzella had a farm. E -I -E -I -O. Is it bad that I'm a new chatter? Just curious. Uh, first time chatter, more like. Oh, it's not bad. Yes, I hate that you are here. God, only my mom and my friends are allowed to join my screen. My stream. Okay, this is good. All right, 60 cards with Curry Bandit and an 11 card extra deck. I see all? some potential here. FIFA we were. All right, he's going to excavate five. Blue eyes! Blue eyes! Uh, magician's robe and magician girls and dark magician. Okay, so it's a dark magician, blue eyes mishmash. Magician's combination. Card effect is activated, tribute to dark magician, dark magician girl, special dark magician or dark magician girl from hand to grave with a different name than the tribute. Also, if you do negate the activated effect. Oh boy, okay. That's kind of crazy. Uh, let's just get in for some damage. Uh, if I tribute the primal dragon, I can make my inferno queen attack twice next turn, which is crazy. <laughs> Reading! <laughs> Your opponent takes no battle damage from involving this card. This has never come up for me. <laughs> Alright, we're off to a good start. Uh -huh. We'll see if the 2000 attack actually matters. Uh, it will, hopefully we don't end up in a situation where I would have gamed because of that if I just summoned the Berserk Gorilla. My bad. Reading! I'm gonna cut this guy, man. <laughs> Holy crap. The first line is the most commonly skipped. Well, as I've already explained, no one is out here ready to read, like, the epilogue, the foreword, etc., etc., you know? Oh, boy. This isn't good. Uh, so, does this thing have to tribute a Dart Magician specifically? Uh, special summon a Dart Magician. You can tribute a Dart Magician, Dart Magician girl. Okay, you have to tar specifically Dart Magician, Dart Magician girl. Oh, my God. He just added secrets of black magic. Oh, God. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. This is not good. He's fusing the rod and the DMG in the hand here. For uh, the Dart Magicians. Okay, uh, this one floats if I kill it. Destroyed, special summon of both Dart Magician and Dart Magician Girl. Jeez, can you relax here, bud? Ah! What is he doing, brother? Yeesh. All right, let's go. Phantom Knight's Magnet Ring. I'm gonna protect you. He draws one, you can set it. So I have to try and remove this without triggering the... Is this considered Dark Magician? This card is not considered Dark Magician. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, lots of outs here. Lots of outs here. Let's think, let's think, let's think. So this thing will float. How can I remove this from the field? If this card is destroyed... Hmm... This card is destroyed. Did we just crash with Dark Warrior Lady? DD Warrior Lady? Hmm... He's got magi- he's got- Okay, he doesn't have Dark Magician in the graveyard here. Uh, I could run into this and crash it, I suppose, is what I'm thinking. If I snipe Hunter, pop it, it really does special both Dark Magician and Dark Magician go from your hand deck and or grave. Hand deck or grave. Jesus, dude. Um. Ah, there's just nothing I can make that outs it without... Ugh, I really don't want to crash her. All right, we're going to go and be a proactive here. We're gonna normal summon DD Warrior Lady. Gonna take 13 here. I mean, there's like a few things I can do. I can go like. Lol. I don't know how that works. Okay, well, he's gonna use this. Ooh, chaining the rod here. Point activates uh, the special summon this, but banishment leaves a field. Uh, tribute a spellcaster. Huh? Oh, he's clicking buttons! Whoa, he's clicking buttons! Let's go! Alright, sick. We take those. Oh, he put it in attack mode! Alright. This might be an overcommit here, but I kind of want to go into the Sioux ship and start popping cards. 
I kind of want to start popping cards. All right, hopefully I won't get punished for this. But some battle damage here to pop is pretty good. I hate that I have to discard my... Uh, I'm wasting my duty warrior lady. Oh, baby, we take that. I don't know if it specifically was like the sous ship that triggered him, but, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's cool. That's cool. All right, nice, 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 nice. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a packaroo. First up, uh, we've got five legacy packs that have been banked up here. Is this my little end of season reward? All right. He saw an XE monster. Ooh, level tuning. Reduce the level of all my monsters control by one. Nah. Dimension hole. Select the monster on your side of field and remove it from play until your next standby. While the monster removed from play, the monster card of the select the monster card cannot be uh, used. Why is this good? It just banishes your guy and then make and then blocks your zone. Out here just reverse cash derailing ourselves, I suppose. Uh, Possessed Dark Soul. Tribute this. Take control of all face-up level 3 or lower monsters your opponent currently controls. Wow, this is great for the BA mirror. Uh, Versago. If I ever play a fusion strategy. Let's go. I'm still waiting for that Sakuretsu armor, man. This is like the best card in the Legacy Pack. Sakuretsu armor. Bar uh, barrel load. Barrel load. No, barrel load. Barrel Dragon. That's the one. Heartfelt Appeal. Take battle damage from a direct attack. Take control of the one face monster which with the highest defense so until your next end phase. Its effects negated and can't declare an attack. Oh, that's a bit bad. It's only good if I specifically steal a level 4. I don't think that's good. I'm not going to play that. Bubonic Vermin. Special Bubonic Vermin. From your deck and face down defense and uh, the position. Then fl shuffle your deck. Then shuffle your deck, by the way. Well, I have one. So if I pull, like, two more, you know, that's a big engine there. You know, that's pretty good. You have links? Uh, it's a stretch to say I have links. Amphibia Amphibious Burgoth Mark 3. The Umi card and side effects. Your opponent draws 1 to 3, then you gain 2,000. Why is he... Is he, like, holding his duty ass? Like, just holding his butt? Like, oh, I'm gonna poop, dude. Okay, brother. He's, uh, he just like me, for real. Reminds me of Gage. Dark Advance. During either player's main or battle, target a monster in your grave with 24 or more attack and 1,000 defense. Some Monarch card, right? And Fang Wang. I think this card's good, actually. Cannot be special. During the end phase of this card is normal or flip return time. When this is normal flip phase, I destroy all set spells and traps your opponent controls. It's a spirit that is a tribute summon that pops all back row. All set back row anyway. Uh, Feng Wang might be playable. Might be playable. We'll see. Let's check out our master pack then. All right. Ooh, a holo. Come on, give me something spicy out of here. I, do, I feel like I deserve it by now. Hello? Angelica's Angelic Ring. Galaxy Brave. Infernity Randomizer. Mathmech Billion Blade. Trickstar Festival. Special two tokens. If a Trickstar, you control the switch from the extra deck. We just show about Karfa. Can banish it. You cannot normal or special to turn you activate this except Trickstars. Oh, I knew that was a, there was a reason that was bad. Girgi Anchor changes the face down. If this is flipped face up, destroy monsters on the field up to number other other Girgias. That sucks. Unfortunate. Imperial Bower. Control another monsters. Tribute this card. Take two different monsters from your deck. Among, Queens, King, and Jack. Add or special each. Among. And favorite contact. All right. Dud pack, unfortunately. I don't think we're going to put in the Feng Wang now. We'll see how the meta looks like in, spitter, in silver. If there's a lot of back row, we'll put in the Feng Wang. Otherwise, nah. All right. Let's climb up to gold, baby. Let's get on up to gold. Uh, yo, chat, thank you for uh, all the subs and resubs, by the way. Sorry if I missed anyone. Uh, Twitch primes, etc. All appreciated. Thank you, thank you. I think we go first. Did you pull Angelica's Angelic Ring? Wait, is it good? Okay, I need to go read it again, I guess. I just assumed it was Infernoble related. Oh, we are one card away from popping off here. You know what we need to draw? Yeah, you know exactly what we need to draw. The Dark Destroyer. We could stack a trap card with the cat, or we can bounce away a special summon monster. Um, Let's protect ourselves. I don't really want to stack a trap right now, because uh, I could regret it, because it, 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 it's, it's kind of slow. But maybe, maybe there's a 1 in 35 I draw my Dark Destroyer. You never know. Uh, or to be fair, any other level 4 gets me XC Reception, which gives me a rank 4 play. 
Well, that's not good. My opponent's playing good cards. 12 card extra deck and desires in the main. Ideally, you are not playing a good deck. Please, please. Oh, it's blue eyes hell, dude. Does this pop face ups or face downs only? Target a monster. Oh, damn it. Oh, welcome to blue eyes hell. Oh, hold. Hold, hold. Normal summon luster dragon. I mean, that's an, an issue by itself, by the way. Um. Okay, he has he is going to pop my Azathoth. That's unfortunate. Alright, so we're going to take 19 to the dome here. We're going to go Good Witch, book this, attack it. And then I don't know how we're dealing with the Blue-Eyes White Dragon. Going to be honest with you. Uh, if I draw any other level 4, I can destroy this by overlaying it to the Sioux ship. Level 4, level 4, level 4. Wow, we just drew the Ferret Flames anyway. That's kind of interesting. I hate having to waste my Good Witch here. What if I just set the cat and stack? There's no good traps to stack, though. That's, like, my best trap, though. Um, Booking this. Climbs up to 28 with the Axe of Fools. That's kind of fine. Uh, I think we do need to out Blue Eyes. Set yourself now. Equip Good Witch. <laughs> this is so bad. Attack blue eyes. Outed! <laughs> Great! Well done! We won the board! A few more turns of that, and, uh, you know, we got this. Did you look at the Ferret Flames artwork? It's a giant fart explosion. Damn, he just liked me, dude. Like, we, we just share so much in common. I love that boy. That little ferret. What monster is it? Does anyone know? Oh, he doesn't have anything. Let's go. Let's go. One back row. Does he know how to put monsters into defense mode? But does he know? Does he know? Sure taking your time there, buddy. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, no, Maiden. Oh, God, Maiden. Uh, so I need to target Maiden somehow. Um, right, so card effect is activated that targets this special blue eyes from your hand deck or graveyard. When it's target for attack, negate, change the battle position of this card, and then special blue eyes from your hand deck or graveyard. Right, so. What I could do is just force out the Maiden by attacking with the Good Witch. He puts it to defense, he summons a Blue Eyes, and then my Cataville Omen runs over the Maiden, so I don't need to keep worrying about it. But then I don't really have a way to out the Blue Eyes. To be honest with you. So, um... I think we're just gonna clear the Luster Dragon and chill for now. What?! Oh, no shot! Oh, there's no way! Ah! Uh. Oh my god, dude. Alright, do I- is it worth setting the cat here? Uh, set the cat, get a trap card. I don't know what trap card I'm getting. Maybe I let him hit me for the ferret flames? Good god, man. Oh, no. Can we get, like, a Mirror Force counter? What is that, my third in, ma in Masochist? Might be my first, uh, my third in Masochist. Oh, no, one of them was definitely Nuzlocke, right? So, uh, yeah. Hopefully he'll just out this Maiden for me. Maybe he'll just, like, Tribute Summon now. Oh, my God! Wow, he just outed it for me. Okay. Uh, I don't really have an out for Blue Eyes yet. That's the issue. Making a rank 4 here isn't going to get me anywhere. I have to take some damage in Ferret Flame, maybe. Is there anything worth using here? Puma Wave is okay. I can destroy a Light Monster. Compulsory Escape Device? But then I I, I can't really summon this. Um, I think I just have to take some damage next turn.
Maybe the sword is good here. I can just negate an attack. This feels like... Okay, this is going to be a slow game, boys. So I'm going to be honest with you. This one's going to be a slow one. All right, we draw the negate attack, and then we just chill. If we, we can take, like, one attack, which would be ideal if he commits, and then we can ferret flame everything. Pass. <laughs> More like piss. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Hi, chatter. We're playing Doggy Dog deck for a challenge. Uh, I don't have an out to blow eyes. What the shit is this? Masochist. Ooh. Is it direct attack? Oh, you can just flip this at any point here. I think I eat this and then I ferret flames, right? Takes me down to 21. Oh, that's not enough. Oh, that's not enough to ferret flames, right? I can't ferret flame this thing. Oh, but it goes to defense, actually. So maybe that's okay. No, but then I don't have a monster to follow up on and clear it. That's the thing. Um, 31? Yeah, so it's it's too big for uh, blue eyes. Go down to 100. Take 5k? I mean, I could, I could get, just take 5k. Oh, God, do we take 5k? Take it like a man. All right, we're going down to 100 life points. Sheesh. All right, we need a spicy top deck here. Honestly, I'm also would just be good. So I can ferret flame at any point here. That's good. Hey, half my life points, half of 100 is really not that relevant, is it? So, uh, well, let's go Jurai Gummo. Why does he have a quick effect? <laughs> okay, bud. <laughs> well, I heard Maxi was good. I heard it was a good card. All right. Um, heads always shreds. Boom! Just saved myself 50 life points there, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, I just I just saved myself 50 whole LP. Uh, so your opponent controls this hard. Make your opponent shuffle false summons that they control. Man, Ferret Flames is crazy, by the way. <laughs> All right, so uh, best case scenario, he overcommits into the flames is what I'm hoping for now. A normal summon, so he's probably just going to go battle phase here. We flame away, and then, uh, yeah. I think we have to here. I could, like, negate attack with the magnet ring. That sets me up for, like, a tribute of the Gizmek, and then I ferret flame. But I kind of want to save this in case things go sideways, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's a very real World of Warcraft where uh, I kind of start to, you know, pass the strain myself to death here. Why is there a quick play effect? Is he thinking of, like, Maxine again? Thank you. All right. All right, okay, okay, okay. This is going good. This is going good. Draw for turn. That's not ideal. Yeah, I should have went with the Magnet Ring so I could have a tribute and I could get some pressure going here. Okay, here we go. 50 life points. Heads over shreds, baby. We didn't shred. Damn, 50 life points. How? How? <laughs> Cheapest Jirai Gumo of my life, dude. Easy, we take that. We absolutely claim that back on the tax relief, you know what I'm saying? Alright, uh, I don't have much way in defense here. An on summon activated effect would be perfect for us, because then we can... Pull that rug out. You know? Can we go down to 25? Yeah, I think we're gonna go down to... Oh, no. A set monster. Oh, God. Chat, what if it's a stone? What if it's a stone? Oh, God. What if it's a stone? If it's a stone, do you think I actually have to use the Gizmek? All right, let's, uh, let's, let's, uh, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, it's the other stone, thank God. Uh, all right, royal blue eyes. Uh, statistically, it's gonna go back to heads. 
Mass checks out. All right, I guess we just pass on this. Okay. This is intense. That's the UK math right there. <laughs> All right. Um, damn. Setting stones would be really bad for me. Oh god, my monster has 70 attacks. Wow, this is game final blow. Get magnet ringed. All right, hopefully he can't quick play special summon. Do I have game next turn? Tribute for Gizmek, and then that's what? Three, 2,000, 42. Oh my god, a back row. Oh no, <laughs> this is the guy who mirror forced me. No, man, no. Ugh, this thing doesn't pop back row. Wait, can I, um... I can't make I can't make access code. Do I have a rank four that beats this? No. What is it? Are you cannot be destroyed by battle with an effect monster? Um. No, I don't have a choice, dude. I don't have a choice. Uh, we just we have to go for it. It is what it is. We just we just have to go for it. I'm going for the I'm going for game. I'm going for game. All right, battle phase. Here we go. Uh, Jirai Gumo. Heads always shreds. Easy. Oh no, mirror force. Oh my god, no mirror force. Let's go. Oh, thank God. Fifty life point victory, man. 50 life point victory. Whoo! That was insane. Well deserved, huh? I played that one. Crazy! Man, that was, uh... That was something. Any burn effect, man? Good thing Blue Eyes don't play burn cards, huh? Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Back to the, uh... Back to the, the store here. Four legs, he packs. Let's go. Can update the score as well to 28. Four legacy packs. Come on, give me Sakuretsu armor. Or uh, barrel, please. Thank you. Uh, Mermaid Archer. Target phase level three or lower. Useless. Solitude. Me when I have no friends. I uh, completely relate to him. All right, we've got Xe Veil. Face up monsters with Xe material can be targeted by card effects. Doma, the Angel of Silence. You know why the, it's the Angel of Silence? Because I want him to shut up. Because it's awful. Should have read the flavor text, you know. I wonder what he's got to say about himself. Immortal Ruler. Cannot be specialed. You contribute this to target a zombie world in your grave and add that target to your hand. This is just an 18 beat stick. Sonic Maid. A maiden that uses sound to her advantage. She wields a scythe that's shaped like a musical note. She uses sound to her advantage. What? Like, she yaps? Yep, yep, yep. Subscribe, Twitch Prime. See, guys, I'm using the sound to my advantage. Subscribe, Twitch Prime. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe. Subscribe. See? Dark Artist. If this is being attacked by a light, its defense is half to during the damage calc only. And Necroz Cataster. Wow. Legacy pack, huh? Old school. Necroz is an old school deck, by the way. One pack, please. One single pack, please. Just one. Feeling, uh... A little bit humble today. Come on, give me a nice staple here. Ooh, a paleo. That's good, I think, right? Wait, which one is this? It's a battle trick. Yeah, okay, we take that. 100%, we play this. That's a battle trick. Uh, receptor, is this a good one? No, this is a searcher. Uh, Catty corn. Useless. Amazon is paladin. Oops, I opened it. Ha! Ah! <laughs> uh... <laughs> What is my light and dark count? Um, what is my light and dark Jesus count? What is my light and dark count? Let's have a look. Uh, this is useless. What is this card? When this card is normal, summon your opponent controls a monster. You can discard a card cost and send any send any number of radiant Vora cells from your deck to the grave. If this card is in your grave, you can make this card in the grave become dark. 
it's funny that I got this in the same pack as Chaos Emperor, but okay. Let's go have a look at this, uh, our deck again here. Uh, remember the other card you pulled, the un uh, the Infernoble? Yeah, okay, let's have a look here. Alright, so uh, apparently I misunderstood. Uh, well, not really misunderstood, I just didn't read the Angelic card, because apparently this thing is good here. From only to most with equip. Uh, you can only control one. Each turn, negate the effect of your opponent's first spell card effect that resolves. Once per turn, while this card is equipped to monster, you gain 500 and destroy this. And if you do, your opponent can't target the monster this card was equipped to with card effects. It's probably worth playing, I guess, right? We'll put this in with this and this. Maybe. I don't know. Let's see what our dark count is here. We have a lot of light monsters. A lot of light monsters. There is, like, a few dark monsters. Like, there's a few. Right, okay. Um, let's cut the fairy tale Sleeper, I think. I want to say, like, 1850 Attacker is kind of not really necessary right now. Uh, Summon Dice has been terrible for me, by the way. Uh, Double Summon has also been kind of goo- goop poopy, I'm not gonna lie. Gonna cut the Double Summon for a bit, see if I, uh, see if I like it. Angelic Ring is unusable in your deck. Equip only to a monster you control equipped with an equip card. Oh. It needs an equip. Oh, that's awful. Alright, we're cutting that. Easy. Alright, let's go with this. Alright, the Angelic Ring is actually completely useless. Never mind. Uh, but yeah, this is our deck list so far. We're gonna put that Paleo in. The battle trick seems pretty relevant. We also cut, like, a random beater. We're gonna try the Chaos Emperor. We're gonna try the Chaos Emperor. <laughs> see if it bricks us too much or not enough, etc, etc. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. Put Versago in. Why? It's a fusion substitute, right? Did I update my score, by the way? 10, 28? What did I start on? Start on 26. Yeah, I did. I'm 2 old today. Let's go. 2 old today. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. Alright. Your opponent is choosing whether to go first or second. You play that small Chaos Dragon you pulled too? Wait, which one? I think you build around CED. I don't think I build around a random one of that I will not draw most of the time. No, I don't think I do. Snippy boy! Our opponent is on 60 cards and a 15 card extra deck. They seem to have what appears to be, like, a real setup here. Can you really not check your opponent's profile when you first, uh, go into a game? You gradually make it more consistent? No, <laughs> Reggie, no. You don't build around a card that you can't search or see or draw. Like, that's... no. Um... Make a move! So anyway, how are you guys today? Any good, interesting plans this week? We just working? What's the plans this week? Ramadan, inshallah khair. Ramadan Kareem to everyone. Fell off my bike today. Is that like metaphorically you fell off your bike or like what? They really need to add chat to Mastodo. Global chat too, yeah. Another 12 hour day for old Mac. I feel you. I th oh, damn it, I forgot to record a deck profile today for my vlog. Yeah, nope, yeah, that's awkward. Yeah, I got so much I need to do. Uh, I need you guys to give me a ban list discussion as well at some point before we head off today. Mr. Zeef is joining us in two hours, by the way. Uh, you still fasting? Yeah, it's like 4, a, 4 5 a.m. until 6, 40 p.m. is when I eat. Dinner choice tonight? Uh, I don't eat a lot during Ramadan. I basically have like one and a half meals a day. Break a fast to get a uh, bowl of soup, some bootag usually, um, or basically it, just like a bowl of soup and maybe like some fruit or um, some bootag or maybe like some potato. These don't eat a lot. So when you, the thing is like when you don't eat all Seven, day, your stomach one, like shrinks. Seven? One. And so when you seven, like eat after one, like starving, seven, it's one, like bad to stuff seven, yourself. That's one, a lot of copy seven, pasta. One. Thank you, Lucario. Appreciate the 71 months. Welcome back. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay. Is this a go next here? This feels like a go next angle. I don't know. This, this, this is just like, you know. 
Searching an Omni Negate. You never. I mean, you never know. You never know. I guess he's reading the Code Talker guide. <laughs> One monitor, Master Do. Second monitor, you know, combo spreadsheet. My PC broke. It forces me into a temporary user that has been backing up my files since Saturday in case I need to reboot it. I went to a big as fuck tourney with a thousand euro borrowed on Snake Eye cards. Lost last round soundly and missed top cut. A big tourney with a thousand euro borrowed Snake Eye deck. You know, imagine being the person who borrows a Snake Eye deck and then you lose it or it gets stolen at an event. And uh, just as context, it is really easy to steal from me. Very easy. Because I'm pretty careless. I'm too trusting of people. Like, my absolute clueless brain is like, why would someone take my cards? They're mine. You know? <laughs> like, unironically. <laughs> um, so I just, at locals and stuff, I just leave my cards out on the table. I go to toilet. You know, I walk around. I watch duels. Go on my phone and I just have like, you know, freaking ulti Nibiru's just like laid out on the field. And I'm just like, yeah, well, like, why would anyone take my cards? Like, they're mine. Like, they belong to me. Why would you take them? That's how my brain works. So I'm just, I'm really bad at being uh, careful. Okay, so, um, wait a minute. Hang on. All right, no joke, 37 minute combo. All right, so let's see here. What did he search? He searched the optimization. So let me, question, does, do we just full send Snipe Hunter? <laughs> Uh, your opponent cannot target any of them with card effects. That's a bit awkward. What does this say also, as well? All links gain 500. Like some of them can't be negated. Once per trade, you take 2,000 more. You can shuffle this. It's of a cyber slink special. Otherwise, extra. How do I out an untargetable 2,800 beater? Field spell might... I might misunderstand. All linked monster field gain 500. So this would go down to 23 if I do an XC summon. But the thing is, like, I can't out an untargetable monster. Each player chooses a monster and then they shuffle it. I think I have to go launcher commander, attack the token, and then set compulsory escape device. If you take 2,000 more battle effect damage, you can shuffle the face. You can shuffle the face down cards in your extra deck. Excavate the top, and if it's a Cybers link, special summon it. Alright, well, hopefully he won't take too much damage here. Um, yeah, I don't see us outing an untargetable monster right now, so we're gonna have to go and go battle phase. Clear this. Main two. Um, I think we go standby escape here. Shuffles are away, right? But then, like, the transcode is, like, such an issue. God. Do I let him cook for a bit before I compulse escape? Like, there is a world where he, like, just climbs up into an access immediately. I don't know, man. It's really weird. Like, he could just, like, keep summoning guys or he could, like, extend. The thing is, if I escape here, he shuffles this away. And then I still have to deal with a 23 beater. And then there's a good chance that he can make another Link monster. Oh, God. All right. Okay. You know, I'm going to try and play it. <sighs> what does optimization do? If your Code Talker battles, your opponent can activate cards of until the end of the damage step. During your main phase, immediately after it resolves, normal summon a Cybers. I guess, like, double normal this turn. All right. Let's. I, I think I'm going to hold for a bit. Let's let's see if he can like maybe maybe he can like maybe he'll like overcommit into something for us. Fuck. Ugh, set monster. Yeah, it even works on set monster. Wow. Why is he setting before like the battle phase and stuff? That's annoying. Okay, I mean to be fair, this isn't that bad. End of main. He definitely just shuffles the set away, so this doesn't actually deal with the issue. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to, like, um, summon, hopefully, top deck a monster, a level 4, ideally. We normal snipe. We special with Xe reception. We attack the set. We escape the vice. And then go from there. I got a summon dice here, which is pretty good. That's useless, man! 
Why am I playing this? Because it's like a dumb fl I need more monsters, apparently. I feel like I've always been in a situation where I don't draw enough monsters. Normal summon, target that monster, banish it. Oh, that's so annoying. Unless I hit three or four is like crazy. If I hit three or four... If I hit three or four... I bring back a guy. I battle phase, I attack this. I escape the vice away, and then I pop with Snipe Hunter. I think I have to Gamba. Because I don't think I'm winning this game long term. Okay, here we go. Three or four, three or four, three or four, three or four, three or four. God. Ugh. Madge. Brother, seriously? Oh my god! Please don't mess. Thank you. I can't do it. I just die here. Oh, I'm gonna go snipe hunter just because I'm angry. Just because I'm angry. I missed. Run away, little girl. Run away. Oh, Man! What the hell? I needed to draw level 4. I needed to draw level 4. Ugh, we go again. We go again. That's so annoying. I hate when I don't draw the card that I want, man. I really, really do hate the, the when I don't draw the card that I want. Alright, um, we'll go first, I suppose. Deck building issue, huh? Maybe. Uh, do I speak French? Like, I understand from a very basic perspective, that's about it. Voulez-vous coucher avec, uh... Moi. Moi, moi, moi. Berserk Gorilla. Classic! 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 Let's go. Off to you, sir. I hate when I draw the card that I want, literally in a card game. Exactly. Alright, I'm not try I'm not trying to act or like get like a certain way. But like the way that the sushi jiggles kinda got me acting up. You know what I'm saying? Like the way this jiggles, like kinda Yo, speaking of jiggling. What the hell is this? Diabell Star discards Prey of the Jirai Gumo. <laughs> Special this is a normal 21 1. Then you can destroy most of your portal the same column as this card. Uh. Is this like a new player who like just pulled from the new pack? What the? Oh, it's a level 7 engine. Okay, this is actually kind of cool, really. Uh, Shadow Ghoul. Alright, it's a level 7, like, deck, I suppose. It's kind of neat. You cannot beat Gate Guardian? Oh yeah? Just you wait and see. Add a Sangha, Kazajin, or Suijin? Uh-oh. <laughs> you know what? I'm just curious to see where this goes. I just want to let him kill. I just want to see where this goes. Alright, field spell. Uh-huh. Horny in Ramadan? I'm sorry! My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. All right, activate field. Uh, do you think it's a tomahawk deck? All right, there's a Suijin. Look at his face, dude. Can't believe they made a deck for this. Is it a hollow? It's a rare. A rare Suijin. Battle phase. Oh my god, you absolute foolish amphibian. You absolute fo foolish amphibian. Wait, why does he have something activating in the damage step? Hmm. He has something in the damage step. What's that about? Well, I need to use mine first, I guess. I don't have a choice here. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah, I am Berserk Gorilla. Am I gonna get liared? The hell is that? Sinful Spoils of Doom Resilia. 
Unaffected by monster effects, unless your opponent controlled lose a, a, attack. E huh? Why is it destroyed? Lose attack, then if their attack becomes zero, destroy. Oh, come on! What the? Lost, lose to Resilia? Come on. Yep. Uh, okay. Oh, send yourself now. Let's go. All right, that's actually really good. So we go passcode attack. Oh god, wait, it just summons itself back. <laughs> I'm just losing to just a, a woman. Just that's it. That's the deck. Just a, a girl. Discard Kazajin. <laughs> Me. <laughs> and she's back. Women in Yu-Gi-Oh are actually just too powerful. Name a bad woman archetype. Happy Women's History Month, true. Subversion? Come on, bruh. Alright, uh... Passing code? Amazonas? That was tier 0 in Duel Links. Oh, what? Really? You're gonna get value out of this? Come on. <laughs> okay, okay. Alright, uh, I guess we'll go escape device and pass. Wait a minute, please tell me I can escape device a token. Hang on, am I throwing? Am I- am I throwing? Escape? Doesn't this, uh, does it, doesn't he have the, uh, what's it called set? The, um, Silvera, right? I mean, I have to use it eventually, right? Like, what am I gonna do? Like, not bait it? It has to be done eventually. And then somehow I need to summon this Dart Destroyer. I gotta face up card and feel negate its effects. And it kind of does the same thing, doesn't it? Not really, because I think this comes back now. This card is sent from its owner's hand or field to the graveyard. Opponent's turn only, actually. So yeah, that just outed it. Nice. Okay, alright. Could have waited for a subversion. Uh, no, because the exact same thing happens as last time. What are you doing? Oh my god, he's banishing a piece! Ah! <laughs> yeah, the reason that that was good is because if I, uh, if I wait, he could just do what the last guy did, which is, like, just have a random poop monster on the field. Wait, what? He's calling Ash. He's gonna activate Branded Fusion? Oh! Uh-oh. No! He's here! Uh... <laughs> I'm scaling my token. Please don't put it in the pen zone. I need my passing glider. Ah! Uh... Okay, so I have to target this three times or draw ferret flames, right? Leaves the field because of an opponent's card. Okay, I need exactly ferret flames. Oh! That's... Half a ferret flame. Alright. Okay. <laughs> Am I misunderstanding? I can ferret flame this, right? Activates a card effect that targets a card you control. We're not targeting. One more piece. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, everyone relax. Everyone calm down. Now, the problem is that when I stack Ferret Flames here, I might take too much damage on his turn for it here. Shadow Ghoul for a second wall. It's not once per turn, is it? Okay, he's gonna wall. Haha, <laughs> he's walling up, guys. Haha, <laughs> haha, he's walling up, guys. One more piece. Alright, Suijin, Sangha. GG's. What do you mean, GG's? Whoa, what does this thing do? He killed my cat! Banish this, destroy an opponent's monster. Oh no, I need to hard draw ferret flames now. <gasps> oh. oh, I need a light monster. Oh, cringe. There are no monsters in the field, special discards. Damn it. Oh. <laughs> My dad. 
Am I, am I just dead? No, oh, not a second one, please. This is why you said build it. No, Reggie, I'm not giving you your confirmation bias. No. I'm not building around a random one off card that has a 7% chance to be seen in my opening hand and draw it as a 1 in 32. Please stop that. Okay. Um. Honestly, we would have had this if we pulled the cat. If the, if the cat resolved, we would have got it. We would have got it. All right, big fat L here. Big fat spirit message L. Uh, so now you can win one of 32 instead of... It's a big freaking <laughs> assumption to think even if I draw Emperor Dragon with setup that, like, I, I win a game. Big, big, much assumptions. Uh, then you should cut it? No, because, like, I have enough lights and darks to justify pulling it, like, mid-game. My opponent is blind seconding. Uh, my opponent is blind seconding. I just finished watching the new Maskus vid, and you're now you're alive. Uh, yeah, make sure you uh, hit the follow button. I stream 2 p.m. UK every day. All right, this hand is sick. And I think we might have a chance of winning this. Our opponent is on five extra deck cards and 40 and default sleeves. N d d d d d d oh, sorry, I missed the sub. Nick Knack, thank you for the brand new subscription. Appreciate you. Uh, now, the question is like, you know... Um, how much do I need to care about, like, uh, me dying, right? Like, is the issue here. Go passcode and turn on this, uh, escape device. Uh, it's a shame this thing summons in defense. I could have used the power frame to protect against battle. Hopefully it's not just, like, Makanko OTK or something silly. Maybe the opponent, like, actually, uh, you know... Is a new player and he's like, you know what, masochist? I need six cards. Ugh, dark magician. Wang, dark magician. Wang. Blind second dark magician, by the way. I missed meme review. Did Samuolo save this week? What do you think? Uh, the answer was no, he wasn't even here. So, sadly, uh, his memes just aren't getting featured. He's just not posting enough, maybe. Or maybe when everyone is like da spam downvoting him. <clears throat> uh, all right. This is robe. This one doesn't do anything. If you activate a spell trap during your opponent's turn, well, this is in the grave. Uh, okay. Ominous. Battle phase. Let cook. He burnt the kitchen. <laughs> nah, man, he burnt the kitchen. Dark magician Zeus, huh? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, all right. Mirror force is not real. Mirror Force is not real. Discard a spell and trap and special summon Dark Magician. Dark Magician! Dark Renewal? Oh boy. Uh, target one of those monsters, one spellcast you control, send them both to the graveyard, then special Dark spell Spellcast from your deck or graveyard. Does it have to send? Send both to the graveyard, then you can. Someone explain the PSCT on this. If I chain escape device, this shouldn't resolve, I'm pretty sure. Alright. Send yourself now. Look at me with my advanced ruling knowledge in the silver four bracket. <laughs> it fizzled! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is not good, though. <laughs> he still gets a Dark Magician from the first effect, which was the Rod. Uh, so what is he banishing here? Back row or security token? Back row, nice, okay. Oh, god, what the hell? Uh, relax? Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is really bad. Oh, is my internet lagging again? 
All right, chat. British internet, what can I say? Ain't nothing I can do about it. Oh my god, he's playing the ritual! Magician of Chaos. Ugh, what am I supposed to do? Wait, what? Huh? Master of Chaos! Based? Uh, target light or dark in your graveyard, special summon it. Tribute to light or dark, banish all most of your opponent controls. This future summon cards destroy a battle card effect, target spell in your grave, and add it to your hand. Oh, damn it. Does, does this card destroy? Um, destroy a monster. Damn! Well, I don't have a choice here. Target a spell in your grave and add it to your hand. Bond between teacher and student. If you control Dart Magician, special Dart Magician can go from your hand deck or grave and then set Dart Magic Attack or Burning Attack and then... Pfft. That would be terrible. Um... I'm, God, he adds back bonds with teach between teacher and student. If you control Dart Magician... Like, I mean, I guess I can just take the Dart Magician, let this live, and then Fuma wave it, but then he gets the thing anyway. But he doesn't have a good spell in the grave. I mean, he has the fusion. I could just wait a turn. I don't think I need to soul take her now. I can't, I can't just wait a turn. And then hope we draw something to save us. How do we win this? We don't. Oh, uh, sir. I've crawled out of worse situations, buddy. All right, just going battle phase here. Um, I don't think I need to Fuma Wave here, right? I pop this, and then I Soul Ticker this. He adds back. I can wait till my turn. I'll sacrifice some life points. Because the thing is, if I, if I wait till my turn, and I Fuma Wave his Master Chaos, he'll probably add back the Dart Magician card, but then I'll Soul Ticker it, and then he would just have a dead spell in his hand, unlike the Secrets of Dart Magic. That's not a good, uh, good card here. Alright, let's go and use the Fuma Wave. Uh, so what do I want to do? I want to destroy the Master of Chaos. I have to target Dark Magician. Destroy Master of Chaos. I need him to add Bond between Teacher and Student. Please add Bond. Please add Bond. Because he's got Dark Magician. Why does he add that one? Whatever. He's not going to be able to fuse anyway. We have to Soul Taker this so he doesn't fuse. Stake your soul! Your nose is mine, Dark Magician. Alright, and then we uh, chill. And then hopefully he doesn't top deck Rod or Eternal Soul or Field Spell or any good card in his deck. <laughs> Visa oh. Star Rod. Hello, Ghidorah. 44 months, let's go. Hi, Farfa. Hope you have a good week this week, Farfa. Thank you, Ghidorah. Appreciate it. Oh my god, he doesn't have a play! Let's go! I'm insane at this. Thank you for the 44 months. Appreciate you. Oh, and we got some pressure. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, time to uh, wrap this one up. So Adhesion Trap Hole halves the attack on summon. That should be enough for a Launcher Commander to deal with. Pressure. <laughs> 1700 beat stick, pressure. Under pressure. Da -da 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 -da. Under pressure. Oh, back row. Uh, ideally not Eternal Soul. That would be terrible. Catastrophic even. Now we can top deck Eternal uh, Magician's Rod, actually. Alright, it, I don't think it's Eternal Soul. He would have flipped that immediately, because silver. Yep, that's the dead trap card. Okay, we're getting there. Alright, now I need him to draw rug, uh, Rod into this rug here. We wrapping this one up in eight turns. <laughs> what is the best Dark Magician top deck here that isn't Rod? Just hard fusing from the hand, I guess. Oh god, yeah, there it is. Yep. 
So, on the plus side, Dartmouth Magical Circle won't trigger here. Bruh, he has Rod in the hand and he didn't... Okay, whatever. This is so triggering for me. Because he had Rod and he didn't summon it. Into my counter trap, which would have outed the, uh, what's it called? Like, that's, that's triggering. That's triggering. I hate that he gets to draw a card here. Alright, what can I top deck now? DD Warrior Lady? Very Magician Girl! Add a Magician Girl. When it activates a card effect that targets this or at uh, for an attack, change this card's battle position to a special summon a Magician Girl from your deck. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna pulling the rug this. Alright, we just need a uh, DD Warrior Lady, I guess. We just need DD Warrior Lady. Unless he's like a silly Billy. And, like, crashes thinking he can banish my guy with Circle. Because Circle doesn't work in the damage step. Okay, one back row. Azathoth. That's really good. This one spins. Ooh. Warrior Lady won't solve this? Yes, it does. Warrior Lady banishes it. This card is destroyed. Um, Let me think here. Because there's also a rank 4 play we can do, maybe. To go into the Sioux ship. Sioux ship deals battle damage. And then the Sioux ship triggers to destroy, like, Circle or something. Or the back row. Um, but then he still summons Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl. Which is, like, two bodies that are, like, large that we can't out. So I think I have to set as a thought. Now the question is, do I put this in defense mode? Because if I put this in defense, he definitely attacks this. If I leave it in attack mode, there's a world where he like crashes. But I don't know if he's like smart enough to crash. Hmm. Well, you're all saying no. I think you're wrong, but we'll see if I live to regret this. See if I live to regret this. The game dropping frames a bit, or is it me? No, it's my poopy British internet. What the hell is that? Strength and unity. Okay, nothing. He's just drawing a card here. Come on, come on, come on. Chill. Is he tribute summoning? Um. Huh. Add it to your hand or shuffle it in your deck. Oh, God. Well, my ass thought doesn't do anything now. Ah! Uh, tribute summon Kiwi Magician, girl. Uh, he just attacks my launcher commander now. Ah, what the hell? Bro, am I getting sniped or something? You're playing a bot? No, I'm not. You don't know that. Source? You just make that up again? You're just chatting? Yep, 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 yep. I actually did just get outplayed, though. Like, what the hell? I had a big plan in place. You know, I was gonna trip, I was gonna flip, I was gonna bounce this guy. Like, no, this bro just tribute, oh, tribute summoned. I guess was the out against as I thought. Only Works on special summon monsters. Alright, it's fine. Because if we draw a level 4 next turn, Azathoth plus a level 4 makes the Sioux ship, we can make like a 3,000 Sioux ship that just pops cards every turn. It's, it's actually kind of crazy. But we just need a level 4. That's a lot to ask for right now. I know. In this economy, it's a lot to ask for. Okay, Curry Bandit is good for us. Kind of, sort of. As long as he doesn't get too much advantage out of it. Aha. Fool. But you still take the damage. Mandatory? That's funny. That's funny. Alright, level 4, baby. Uh, it would be great if he milled 5 monsters, but that's just not gonna happen, is it? Thousand Knives, Tamias, Choco Magician Girl, Magicalized Fusion! Uh 
He has five spellcasters in the graveyard. Uh Okay. Uh, I'm in danger. I'm in danger. Oh, come on. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. Is he going to activate it? Is he is he gonna throw down the magicalized? Magicalized curry bandit's kind of a funny tech. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Stop. Cease. Cease. Is there a reason not to? It's just a rhetorical question, our show. Alright, how many is he going for here? One. Why do you use his field? That's five, right? Ah! No! Quintet Magician! <laughs> oh, come on, dude! Quintet! In this economy? Level 12? Oh, I forgot it destroys all cards! I don't think this works. <sighs> what does this one do? It gains 500. I should give it 500 just to end this duel faster. There you go. I'll give him game. Just end me. <sighs> oh, seven. We got freaking quintetted, man. Oh god. All right. Well, GG. That was uh that was an epic game. <clears throat> I I need to try and understand why my internet is like just being garbage right now. Like it's not stabilizing. It's 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 really annoying. Give me a sec, chat. Yeah, I don't know. This is, like there's just nothing I can do. Uh it's just it's just unstable. It's garbage. It's it's yeah. All the company. Uh it's awkward cuz it's my mom's place and it's under her account. There's like 20 different security questions you have to go through to like get through to someone on on the other line and then even then it's like she probably doesn't remember half her like security questions. It'd be like a big waste of time just to basically say, "Hey, my internet is like unstable. Can you fix it?" And just for them to be like uh, turn it off and on again. Like, oh, great. Thank you for your amazing contribution. Uh. Alright, um. Let's, uh, let's go again. Mr. Take It Easy. You asked it nicely. You know, when I was a kid, I used to, like, look away from the PlayStation on a scratch disc, you know, thinking that maybe it'll, uh, maybe it'll work, you know, if I just talk to it nicely and ask it gently. You know, don't give it too much anxiety or, uh, Whatever, uh, I'll be uh, I'll be fine here. Do I just run out the launcher commander? Can immediately normal summon, or I might as well get some value out of the thing in the graveyard with the summoning dice potentially. Go ahead, Mister. Take it easy. Forty-three cards. I can't think of any good decks in Yu-Gi-Oh that play forty-three cards right now. So uh, I I'm feeling pretty confident and safe right here. I'll, uh, I'm putting myself on the upper, uh, uh, on the upper end of, uh, comfy. Activate Magician Salvation. Eternal Soul. Have you checked out the new Fiendsmith cards? I have, yes. Huh? Whoa. Your opponent cannot activate spell cards. This card to special summon the uh, Apprentice Illusion Magician. A Dark Magician. 
Uh, not being able to activate spells is going to be a little bit scary. I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like I'm going to have to go Launcher Commander, pop this, and then Summon Dice and pray that I hit 5-6 on Dart Destroyer. And then maybe Dart Destroyer can, like, pop the Secret Village. <laughs> I think it's going to hurt Nerd. me more. If you think about it, your internet is technically fasting alongside you this month. True! He's just on a diet. Yep, it's unstable again. Oh my god, super polymerization. My man. Wait, I'm on the Wi-Fi. Maybe it's me who's the issue. I, you'd think it's like, it wouldn't be a, a, a problem, but you know. Well, I got dodged there. It's a starving venom dragon, which means I can activate spells. It's a dragon. Discarding another, uh... Wait, what did you discard? Super Poly? You know, this might hurt him more than me at this stage. Maybe we're just a bitrate again? Yeah, I feel like... 4 megabyte was, like... It's pretty low. You're on Wi-Fi? No, my phone is. Alright. Summon dice. Five six, five six. Okay. Huh, I should have stand by this, and then I would have been locked out of using spells. Good thing I'm smart. Don't resist him. Five six, five six, five six. God, never. Never lucky. All right, this is like okay though. Right, who do I pop? Well, Eternal Soul just brings it back every turn. God, it'd be so good if I could target the Eternal Soul. Oh, imagine I could target Eternal Soul. Okay. That's the best I can offer. God, I don't know what to do. Like, is, is my internet, like, stable? Does it, like, does it just look bad? Like, I, I, I don't know what to do here. Like, this is, like, re like... Because this is going to go into a video. And it's just, like, completely lagging. Like, look at this. It's just, like, dropping... Fr like, this is going to look... This is going to look so garbage on, st on, on the video. Like, it just looks terrible. It's fine. No, it's not. It's really not. It's just you? No, it's not just me. I just opened it up on screen and looked at it. VODs are fine even if it lags. Wait, do you think so? I mean, if the VODs are fine, then it'll be, it'll be okay. <laughs> Like, it's just so fucking frustrating, man. Like, I feel like I just can't do my job. Like, it's so frustrating. <sighs> Wish I was in my own house, man. Like, this just sucks because I just, I feel like I can't, I can't work. I can't do my job. I can't do the thing that people, like, subscribe for, you know? I just feel so fucking bad. Like, it's, it's just not getting better. I don't know what to do. Like, it's just not getting better. I don't, I don't I don't know what to do like should I just end stream like I just I can't I can't stream like this like this is this is unusable this is like this this
going to be terrible footage. Like, it's just not going to be watchable. I'm looking back at the vault that I'm watching and it's just lagging. Like it's just the, the, the frame rate is awful, the bit rate is garbage, like it just looks terrible. And it's just not getting better. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, chat. I don't know. Like, I'm gonna go turn off my Wi-Fi for, like, a little bit. And then come back tomorrow and see if it's better. Like, I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. It's just, I, it's, I don't know what to do. Like, I've just been suffering with this for months now. I can't do my job. I feel like it's really actively hurting content and streams and quality and everything. It's just, it's so frustrating. And I don't, I don't know what to do. I'll just, I'll just go focus and work on YouTube for the next few weeks, hopefully. And then maybe streams will just get better. Sorry.